He says, it's worth more. <laughs> Do you know how fast my fat would have taken 150 grand? I, I would have grabbed it, mm. threw the car at its feet, and ran. As fast as my little fat legs can go. And I've seen... I Get one of the medicine balls. Those are good when you're sick, too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Welcome to Made the Zuby with you, America's most plague-filled TCG podcast, <laughs> where we discuss all things Star Wars and George's impending death. <laughs> I'm, of course, joined by America's newest Star Wars content creator, Josh. May the force be with you. And I'm, of course, joined by the man who put out my favorite piece of content this week by a mile. What was that? The Star Wars video. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, we're, just, George. we're just a Star Wars podcast. Josh is doing box openings, and I'm doing how to play videos. Everything and makes sense. I will say only one of us promised that whatever game came out last would be the last one we would ever pump on the channel, but that was Not pumping. Zero that pumps. was five that was five days ago. Zero pumps. You know? Zero you, pumps. Said you wouldn't make videos about any other game after sorcery. I don't know if I said I wouldn't make videos. I said it's you not literally said that I said it's not going to be on my channel. That's what I said. Wait, 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 That's fair. Uh, that's not what I said. So if you're going to accuse me of saying something, at least accuse me of saying the right thing. I can hardly wait for you to become I, an altered YouTube channel because it's I coming next. I had not played Star Wars be oh, here we go. before that and that I just decided so to can, So look, yeah. I know we got to get into the topics, but I have one question before we get to that topic. The only topic. Is, is it my question? About. Hold on. Are you going to ask my question? I'm guessing yes. Oh, damn it. Was it the best box opening experience you ever had? No. You did. Was you that really? No. Was it as good as Cryptic? No. No. Not as good as Cryptic's box opening experience. I actually, I actually low key don't like the box experience. Well, we can talk about that when we get to the Star Wars segment. If you guys want to, if you guys want to have an actual get, dialogue about start it, with Star Wars segment. If you want to have an actual dialogue about it, I don't think it's like the most fun box opening. I think we should. I, 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 I don't think we should talk about anything else. To be honest with you, I don't right, know the well, story. I haven't got my boxes yet, so. Let's talk about what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about Fallout rocketing to the moon. We're going to talk about uh, Commander only, Josh's favorite format for Magic the Gathering. Uh, we're going to talk about YOLO. I have a question for the, the audience on the podcast here in front of me. And then I also have a question for the comment section. Oh, and I God. want them to Why interact would you do with that it. To yourself? This is good. This is good. Why would comment you do section that to yourself? during the YOLO side of this podcast. I want you to get your thumbs ready and type it out because uh, I want to we want to hear your thoughts on it, too. Oh, you know what? I never thought of that. People watch this on their phone. That's we're we're where... second we're second monitor material, bud. We oh, upgraded. Yeah. We used to be we used to be phone material, which is like lowest here. Now we're second monitor material. Really? I, oh, think we're so. not, I can't. Oh, we're definitely my phone. phone. We are we are. They play you on the phone and they put you in the pocket while they're walking around their house. Like that's only worth, if they have YouTube Premium. Not yeah, that's fair. Not worth the headphones. I don't have YouTube Premium. I can do that. Even Dude, I know how to figure that one. If out. you don't have YouTube Premium, you're missing out. YouTube, YouTube Premium. YouTube is, Premium is goat. Yeah. Is what are you missing so out good. on exactly? No Go. ads. Ever. No ads on YouTube. Yeah, that's true. I can't and, think of any thousands of apps that let you and, not run ads and, on YouTube. And you can put like you can like have it keep playing when you close your phone and do other. And things. And you get that's, access to you. You get YouTube Music too. I've never used I have that. Spotify. My Spotify that's, got Tay Tay. Yeah, I don't yeah. Know you why. pay for Spotify. So you, know Spotify you, pay for you know Spotify has audiobooks now. I do. This this podcast is sponsored by Spotify now, everybody. Um, where you can <laughs> you can't no, it's sponsored. So that's good for you. Can, can we be sponsored by YouTube Premium? We're on YouTube. Yeah, if they have YouTube Premium, they also pay us more, which is nice. Yeah. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah we're you get a higher creators. higher revenue push per kickback from YouTube Premium it. viewers. That, because if no, it, I feel bad, I've been all my viewers. Then all YouTube channels like talk about YouTube Premium in a positive light, right? Like because there's an incentive. <laughs> that extra it. that extra thirty seven <laughs> so, cents total is gonna yeah. move the needle for us. Um, okay. my, my favorite YouTube content creator has like two weeks left of YouTube videos before like he's done, and I'm I like. Know. Trying to this come is, to terms with it. This is inevitably where George conversations go to is him talking about his favorite his favorite uh what's the game? StarCraft creators leaving. No, this one's actually a Mario Maker one. Oh Mario Maker. My favorite StarCraft. This, you can tell I really pay attention what? when he's kind of talking to me. As as a man who's kind of done the tour to YouTube channels, both on Louis, on mine, you talk a lot about how your favorite YouTube channels are the ones you've never been on. 
That's why they're my favorite. They are, are, you, are you working nice. your way? Are okay. you climbing the mountain? We are to, like gonna, get onto those channels. He actually has viewers. That's the problem. We are uh, going to also mm. talk about Star Wars. May the Star Wars be with you. That's all we're uh, talking about. Everything and... else is just like it's like a a, a, a amuse bouche of topics. everything else is just Commander. It's not that great. It's we're going to talk about the one hundred and ninety four thousand dollar One Piece card that sold. Did you really not write One Piece to one hundred ninety four K? Did you really not write that? I put 194K one piece question mark because you provided zero evidence for what we are going to tell the audience. So I have That's to mark normal. that. That's my favorite kind That's of normal. evidence. Like, what do you That's, want from me? I That's have to mark that with a question mark. Last <laughs> time I said that their convention was in California, it was Japan. It was close enough. <laughs> uh, close enough. We're going to talk about Lorcana, period. Um, okay. <laughs> did you even mention the sorcery topic? Yeah, I did. I don't it's, think you did. I thought I, I think you sorcery premiums. It. Wow, sorcery's out and Saul Words is in. Wow. I, yeah. I, I, I we're doing the graded premiums. It's in our Discord server and I just mentioned it in between you guys doing whatever you two wow. are just doing. Wow, who would have guessed this coming out? All right. Fallout Rockets. How many boxes of Fallout Collector do you think Distro sold? <laughs> <laughs> how, how many do you think they still have held back? Like, the rumors are get the rumors are uh, few more coming next week yeah i have i've heard similarly that it's gonna be like a wave like um doctor who but nobody knows we don't know does that mean we get to whoppingly double up our six boxes or do we actually get (laughs) or you get a box yeah um it's wild uh so current market as it stands uh, what you're seeing now, if you're watching, is live. Uh, Commander decks about to hit $200 for the set of decks. You can get them at GameGrove.gg for $195. And if you add some Gamer sleeves, Grove. ain't that if, sick. If you add some sleeves or deck box, you'll get free shipping at $200. So that's pretty nice. Wait, um, how much are your decks on Gamer Grove? $195. Wow, what a scam artist. Making you buy Wait, something else. Don't with they? It. Don't you yeah, have tax? Of what a tax total over? scam. Uh, tax. So online tax works different. Depends on like how much I, how much I've sold in each state. So there's like mm. thresholds. You don't have to pay tax until you're. Oh, can I say amount. that that the Shopify thing pays for itself just based on that information? <laughs> yeah, they do all of it. They like yeah. you don't worry about it. They handle it. If they, they it need all. to, if they need to take tax, they take tax. Uh, <laughs> the only like sales tax that I have to worry about is like the in store. Like when local. I had my website, if you know, you know, that was the best part of it. Yeah. That's um, that was not the best. That is not what your website would be remembered for. That's true. That is not the best part of your website. <laughs> Do you know, uh, I, uh, go I got an offer of like for a clothing company to buy it. Just take it. That's what I said. It might. Yeah. I might. It's either going to be a movie or a clothing company. One of the two. I could do something the cool. TV I could do something offered. cool with it. That was a, that was a mistake. Okay. A uh, meanwhile, Fallout collector boxes uh, approaching or at four hundred dollars, depending on who you're talking to. Um, they're, they've been fluctuating. I heard they were at four fifty. They've they been, bounced off the 420. Nice. I heard they went yesterday. 450 from a reliable source. They've they've been. Uh, is that ready? Yeah. Nice. They're, they've been. They're they've doing. Been they're doing the house. bouncy ball thing. Yeah. Uh, so no. let's start off this way. Be careful buying four hundred dollar boxes of Fallout collectors. No. Yeah. Be careful that you're not buying enough. <laughs> I, yeah. I want to do. What's that meme? You don't do that. You live. You live. <laughs> I mean. Uh, what, what are your guys' honest thoughts on that? I have 101 degree fever. Um, I wonder, oh my God. Um, listen, I wouldn't buy boxes at 400. I think that's a great way to make sure you lose money. I mean, like, like it's such, it's such a crapshoot. Like, what I don't think you're going to see is I don't think you're going to see him get to like 800. So, no, like, yeah. there's, there's far more downside risk than upside risk, in my view. Yeah, I like lean into them our, hitting. Yeah, the odds of them hitting two eighty are far higher than six hundred. Yeah, Lord of the Rings collector boxes are four twenty five, and the highest price. Go we by saw, that. You could get a second one to one ring in there. The the absolute highest we saw Lord of the Rings collector boxes is four eighty, but they also did a real print run of those. That's the, that's fair. Um, um, like, I. I think paying way over what really should be MSRP for any new magic product is a really great way to be sad. Um, I think it's similar to like, you know, what we said about like Goat Kana when it came out, when people were paying stupid prices for a chapter one and two, 
that if you really want to lose a lot of money, make sure you pay way over MSRP for a modern box. Um, yeah. Like magic people move on quickly because they release 20 sets a year. Like right now, everybody wants Fallout. In nine months, nobody will want Fallout. Yeah. Um, and like then like if you want a box, God bless you, brother. Go get 30 boxes. I don't care what you do with your money. It's your money. Uh, but like I think um, – I think buying into the hype is um, almost never uh, the big brain play. Yeah, I. It's wild to me that there was. It felt like there was basically no uh, demand. I don't know how the pre-sales were, Josh, on TCG Player, but it felt like there were basically no. There was basically no demand for the pre-orders until boxes hit the like three eighty. Like all of a sudden. Everyone got their allocation. Everybody pulled their boxes down. And then F- now the FOMO, FOMO has just fully love, kicked in. I, that is the best part of this industry is just yeah. like the FOMO that everybody feels for something that there should be no FOMO on is outrageous. I'm doing I, pack, I'm doing packs only in the store. Like, Are you really? The, I think that's I think smart. I, yeah, I think I have like You, three, you only got six boxes or so. Yeah, or I think I you only got bo- a small amount. I think I have three boxes left. And so I'm just doing... Like I'm just doing packs. Like I'm doing a one pack or one or two pack uh, maximum for people and just spreading it out to everybody. Uh, it it's weird. It's like a weird. Um, it's really weird because I I don't see the cards being that crazy expensive, especially the like the non reprint cards are not. They're not wildly expensive. I wouldn't expect those to be though, would you? Well. Like with Lord of the Rings, the thing is, if there's only six boxes and they're good, playable, sought after cards, like maybe scarcity does it. I, I want to point out, Louis, the number you pulled out of your behind for the collector boxes, the sales hit three hundred and one, or the price hit three hundred one dollars, and sales tripled. Really? So your three hundred dollar threshold was was pretty on point. There. But it's close enough. I love you, Josh. I thought he said three hundred. I don't, I, even, I don't remember what I, I said. Thought he said I thought he said 300. I'm gonna Put in the with, comment section gonna, below what he said. I'm going to go with Josh's rare compliment of me and, and say that it's probably accurate. <laughs> <laughs> I might be the only person on this earth nice to you. <laughs> That's true. Um, I, So I think, like, I don't know. I'm surprised that there's not more hype for the single cards. Like, we're seeing a lot of excitement for some of, like, the... What the, does Destroy the Universe card going for? The Ravages of War. Well, I sold one. I pulled two of my box opening. Dude, my box opening was insane. I pulled a foil and a non-foil Ravages of War. and a Same Tarmogoyf. box? Same box. I only opened one box, yeah. George, um, yeah, George, did you get your Tarmogoyf yet? Get it from Louis. I want a Tarmogoyf. I got one. If you got the special frame one, is it is it the most special Four. version of the Tarmogoyf? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm definitely listening to my own advice and buying it in nine months. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like... The Scrounging Death Claw is the name of that card. Yeah. Uh, uh, so there, there's some demand for. I mean, we sold our Ravages of War. I think the person asked to cancel the order. <laughs> I got an email right before we started the podcast. Welcome, welcome to pre-orders on TCG Player. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, I don't know. I think those are pretty. Like the the hype is certainly there for those. It's the other cards that I think I'm a little bit more surprised. Um, I kind of pulled I the TCG play Player list anymore. Nobody plays that. No. But it's it's it makes its way into some commander decks and stuff. But it's it's iconic. It's just an iconic card. Uh, it's not super easy to pull the the card lists from TCG Player because there's so many different versions of everything. But I, I tried to pull like the most expensive cards off the deck lists, and like fifteen dollars seems to be like the most expensive of the cards. And usually there's a little bit more. I don't know. It feels like the singles on this are struggling compared to like Doctor Who. But I that that's my feeling. That's like my gut. I don't have a lot of strong evidence to back that up. And Doctor Who, I was way more close to it because I opened like 100 decks of Doctor Who for singles. So I'm not doing that this way. Power. Hey, sing- singles might be struggling, but like the sealed deck, there's been yeah. like 5,500 sealed deck cases. So the four decks. 5,000. That's crazy. Well, and yeah. that, that might be why singles are struggling, right? Because like everybody's putting their money into the full deck case. Yeah. That makes a it's, lot of sense. Th- that pro- and remember, there was that special on that product right remember there was the not mvp sports but mvp sports deal on the sealed decks was there for this yeah yeah there was a front there was a banner page tcg player sale 
for the set of four decks. I think like I think it was like one seventy five or something. That was Card Shop Live that MVP sports. That's probably was it Card Shop Live? It was. I don't remember. It was somebody, but big. it Dude, it was time. some it was someone big doing the exact same thing, yeah. and that boosted the numbers. But unlike the Karloff Manor, these ones kept going after that. Like that day, the sale ended, and instead of seeing no more sales, people just kept buying at a slightly higher price. Yeah, the demand on this stuff is crazy. Um, the decks are good. Commander deck are sets good are decks? good, man. Okay, so this is a great um, comment I got today. Could you imagine if Wizards put the same amount of energy into oh, uh, like Pioneer decks or Standard oh, th- pre- Pre-Convex yeah. as they do into Commander? <laughs> that was, that, first of all, nice. How long did it take you to find one of those to, to prep for this I opened moment? two boxes. I got a great box and a George got wrecked box. <laughs> nice. Hey, you balanced out right in the middle. I, I said that before. It's the quickest way to bring standard back, right? It's just really hard because of the rotation. Yeah. Like rotations and bannings make the rest of that stuff hard. Commander is so much easier. You just kind of set it and forget it. You know, it's weird. Like they, the, the challenger decks, they always targeted like a $40 price point. I almost yeah. wonder if a, a standard deck or a, um, a pine, whatever, you know, challenger deck, if they should target like a $120 price point, something like that, that allows, them to put in a full fledged four of everything, you know, card pool and not, not worry about the, not worry as much about the singles economy there um, and be able to really like pump up the decks to make them more usable in a format. If that's not one of the issues, because like all these decks, histor- like the last probably uh, it's a year and a half of commander decks, commander decks have just been super strong. Like you can play them out of the box in your average pod. Whereas like the challenge decks were never like, they were never ready for, they oh, may they be ready for a Friday night. Decks. But huh? yeah, they could just not do challenger decks. They're terrible. Well, they haven't done they only have to be ready for Friday night magic. But the, the difference there is like a singleton format. You're, you're, and you're leaning into the variance of the 99, you know, and the consistency of the commander. So as long as the 99 meets some kind of strategy with your commander, you're fine. Challenger decks are harder, right? It's hard not to just print, if you want to be competitive at a Friday Night Magic or an RCQ or something, you have to pretty much print an optimal list. And if you're printing optimal list, like you kind of take a deck building and some of that fun out of the mm-hmm. game. So you, you can't do that. Hey, being powerful enough for a Friday Night Magic is a massive win, but like, yeah. I don't think they can go any farther than that. They, they have some room to grow. Some of them have just been bad. Some well, we of like, the Pioneer for, Challenger decks are bad. We haven't seen them for a long time. I was trying to think, that, like, what's the last non-Commander deck I have ordered? I don't think I have ever. I think there was, like, a there Lord of the Rings starter There was recently a Pioneer deck. Phoenix one, wasn't there? Wasn't there Pioneer Challenger decks? Was it end of 2022? Oh, you know what? No. I don't think I ordered those. Well, yeah, you might have skipped the like, order. But people like the Pioneer decks. decks. Uh, so, 2022. Yeah, I... Was, was it the end? In... It was end of 2022 or early yeah, 2023. Was the... something. Yeah, I got those. There was um, there was like a dragon one, maybe not dragon. One. There was a, there was there was a, a Grohl one. one. There was a Phoenix yeah. one, and then was there Orzov tokens or something? Yeah, Orzov humans. God, I don't think they ever did one. Would be so good. I don't think they ever did one after it. But my point is, like, they certainly aren't putting resources and energy into that. Uh, no. And I don't know. It's just something that I, I thought of. But the hype for this stuff seems crazy. I, I I don't know what a wrong number to order on something like this is. Like the demand just seems absolutely nuts from a store perspective. Um, it seems like it will be until suddenly, very suddenly, it's not right. Like I start like thinking that's about what this seems like. I start thinking about um, Marvel in twenty twenty five. Like that's gonna be absolutely god can, insane can i ask can we change the podcast title to bob Iger be with you just asking for a friend here <laughs> i'm not even going to bring up the comment section every time we say that i'm pretty sure bob i'm pretty sure didn't marvel become part of disney when bob Iger wasn't around and lately yeah. marvel no. hasn't been that great marvel bob hasn't Iger. had a good year in a in, in, in like a while. Bob Iger's yeah. back, baby. Bob Iger's back. Well, since he's been back, Marvel hasn't been great. It takes more than a year to film a movie. He's not, not doing, he's not doing crappy YouTube videos in 10 minutes. He's actually <laughs> got to put effort into it. 
hey, they're like 11 minutes, otherwise you don't soak up enough aggro. like, oh, look, been, here's a new game that just came out. This one's definitely not going to flop. He does that with Lorcana. He's in Lorcana he, Magic. He doesn't even know what game he's in. He probably thinks is. Lorcana is a Magic so, crossover. So that was going to be, so I asked that to somebody this week. If you were to get a hold of anybody in the C-suite and you were like, you're now in every indie TCG. But you're, in, you're now in every TCG, basically. You're in Magic. You have Fancy Flight, Pumped by Louie. And you have Lorcana, the Goat Kana. What's the difference between these three games? How many people in the C-suite do you think would know the answer to that? Zero. Zero. That was my gut, too. The, the CEO of How many of people of on Wizards... this podcast know the answer to that? Two. Me. Two of them. Two of them. Me. The CEO of Wizards doesn't even Be know Be kind to Josh, is. Louie. <laughs> yeah. The Chris Cox has no idea what the difference between these games is. He just knows which ones they talk about. Sometimes. And when, at the cocktail parties. When he's not talking about D&D. Um... Yeah, I'm excited though. We're doing, you know, Friday night. We're doing. This is the first time that we've done a Friday night. We're doing the commander decks thing. We're still going to draft, but uh, usually I pretend... these are the Mothman decks, right? They are. One of them is. Are, are you getting? Are you doing the Mothman tournament? Not this week. Uh, not this week. I want to give everybody a chance to like play with all four decks. You want to um, have them buy more than one deck? I'll help you. Continue. Uh, I don't honestly. <laughs> I don't start. think we're going to be able to do it. We're not going to be able to do it. The Mothman <laughs> one's the one that's selling. Uh, this is the opposite. Is that true? Of, yeah. This is the God, opposite Mike of what it. I Mike hope gets for. It. Mike gets I, it. Do you guys remember me saying I hope the Mothman ones like the deck that nobody wants because then I can do that event and like yeah. it'll it'll still be awesome. Uh, the Mothman ones. Do you think like that's the last dollars. Mike gets it in podcast history? Do you think we'll get another one every week, baby? No, <laughs> Mike um, and Bob Iger are gonna go off and create the greatest company ever, according to. George. What? <laughs> All right, Mike and Bob Iger on a boat, George. <laughs> oh, the goat. That's the boat name. That's mm. the, boat, the boat's name is SS Goat. <sighs> Mike never gave me a divvy. Bob has only increased my divvy. Mike also Mike never, never gave, gave, you, gave you poker your, decks. Your poker decks. <laughs> um, all right. So follow us for goal. I'm Bob excited. Sends Georgia poker deck. It's over. <laughs> this is, uh, I think this is going to be, it's going to remind me of Lord of the Rings release weekend in terms of like the amount of people coming into the shop. It is. Um, no, it is not. It will do well. Uh, it will be very on. good. That, it will that might be, be true because your shop has grown since then. Yeah, but like, I don't know. The... Not yeah. That was around the time you were telling me you had seven people for magic. You're like, we can't fire magic events. I have to fire these events instead. Like, mm. your shop has oh, just I exploded since then. I forgot that. about you whining your, about that. Your shop has exploded since then. So you might have the same amount of people, but I don't know if that's fair that's to hard. like say the so interest. The here's same. my th- my question to you guys. Um, do you guys feel like this set is bringing in new people to magic? So I think that's trickier because I, I don't know if it's necessarily new. I think it's like someone who is familiar with magic that then through their life fell in love with fallout. And now they're like, yeah, I'll totally play. I know magic. I played it in middle school. I'll get a fallout deck. I'll go to the game store with my friends. I think that's far more likely. And there's, way more of those people than we account for than like someone who's like i have no idea what a tcg is oh fallout sure because mm-hmm. it, it felt like lord of the rings what we were saying was a lot of people were coming in from universes beyond as a result of whatever and then it felt like doctor who we asked this question like is there any crossover between magic and doctor who who really wants these <laughs> no pun intended um and whatever and now it feels like the the people in my store, anyway, all the players are really excited about because they all play Fallout. Like, there's not anybody who's like, "Why is Magic making a Fallout deck?" Like, no. I mean, there are on the internet because it's the internet. But from from a local perspective, no one's surprised at this point, and it feels like an IP that makes sense. I haven't had anybody come into the store yet. Maybe this weekend we will, and be like, "Hey, I'm a huge Fallout fan. I've never played Magic. What's this new Fallout thing I'm hearing all about?" Uh, I, mean, I think you'll get some of that. I think you'll get a lot of that. I mean, like, okay. you know. Yeah. Also, like, I mean, like, Fallout is a video game. It's not a world, right? Like, there's not, right. like, you know, it's a, it's a, it's, you know, something that's much more fun than a TCG. Um, so, like, why would you go to something that's from, something that's more fun to something that's less fun? It doesn't make any sense to me. God. Sick you is sad. <laughs> Where's your Eeyore card? Get it out for yourself. I, do, do that do that uh, game where you him, lick it and stick, it, stick it on your him, forehead think, and someone has to guess oh, who you just, are. I'm going to give him a rad token instead. George gets a rad token. It's, he's, Those are cool. I'm rad. I like that. 
All right. I like the red tokens. That's cool design. Those red tokens, yeah. those are sweet. The all the commander decks look super fun. I'm so pissed yeah. that we didn't get a chance to play them on stream. The guys, I texted the guys that I wanted to play with twice, and one of them was working. One of them had a date with some girl or something. I was like, "What are you doing, Bring man? What, what are you doing? Over. You're not supposed to date. Yeah. You're supposed to play Magic. Come on, ridiculous. I, I could rip. Are you a to, Hold on. Are you supposed to play Magic? Because I think you're about to tell me about all these other games throughout the rest of this podcast that you'd rather play instead. Nope. Actually, we're talking about Commander next. So, uh, welcome to the the commander part of the podcast. I'm I'm gonna get my refill of tea. Commander yeah, only, but th- but this is where you're the most valuable. I'm here. I'm ready for it. Tag me in. Commander is the only thing that matters, according to everybody. Everybody. Wizards of the Coast. According to everything. Uh, so Wizards put out this thing, uh, and it appears. Oh, yes. I learned a lot of fun facts about Commander this week when I was talking to my buddy. Yeah. What'd you learn? Do you know where do you know where Commander was discovered? In Lake Geneva, Wisconsin? Madison, Wisconsin. Do you know what college happened to have like a pre commander format, a five color called EDH? No, something else, some crazy word. Head dragon. It Eternal was... Dragon Highlander? Elder, Highlander. Highlander. Elder. Highlander. Highlander. Elder, Dra- Elder, Sorry. Elder, Elder Dragon yes. Highlander. Yeah, right, right, right. Or yes. or George. EDH, EDH. Yeah. and the C was, stands for competitive. Yeah. Um, do you know what college made the five color EDH popular? I'm guessing the one you went to, Beloit College, baby. Wow. You're damn right it is. So where I you, was where there. You were? Yeah, where's I there? was literally there when they with like when the bunch of these people were playing pre commander. And do you? I actually because I lived in Wisconsin at high school goes deeper than that it's because there's nothing else to do at Beloit college uh excuse me i got blackout drunk every night <laughs> in your room by yourself playing no, edh <laughs> i play oh my god me and this yeah we, we can get into it um george my, college stories was not oh on my, my bingo card I, today <laughs> i'll be honest uh, i don't drink a lot anymore it's because i did enough in undergrad uh <laughs> me and all my frat bros would get together down in this God awful, nothing but asbestos mold and like twenty year old dried up beer floor, and play Mario Kart. Love it, Mario Kart or Mario Kart? Mario Kart. Do you ever and play we would Birio play Kart? that until and drinking until like we Mario could Kart not handle it, and then we would go onto the porch and uh, do things that were now more legal than they were back then. Little, I don't know. What you're... Little happy grass. Wait. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I was about to say, how Louis? Come on, the the he... shirt, the art behind him. Well, I thought up. he was going to say he was going to puke over the la- la- the thing. So, and then he no, said it was I'll get that story in a so I was like, I think you. And can so puke right now. we would then do that. We'd have some other people come over. We'd all hang out. Then we'd go play some more Mario Kart. So you never played Mario Kart in all this? Oh, we did all okay. the time. Like, oh, yeah, um, Mario Kart I have, is my favorite. I have. Of the I am sick games. right now. I have never been more sick in my life than Mad Dog 2020, though. <gasps> what I, you, don't you talk bad about the Mad I Dog? I have never in my life vomited like I vomited Louis, after Mad Dog 2020. This is Louis. Ever. You were never forced to drink warm, cheap college beer, and it shows. Mm-mm. Yeah, hundred percent. Nope. I always had <laughs> I was the always privilege able to get my own beer if I wanted beer. <laughs> What does that Gosh, mean? The privilege. I, I worked the really privilege. hard in college. I worked 80 hours a week every in college. I worked hard too. Mm-hmm. Those Mario Kart championships did not win themselves. I didn't, I didn't have time to drink in college because I was too busy paying for college. I so, worked hard in college too. That's why I don't have a college degree. My uh, um, the, the person I teach with is always very sad. And um, because he... <laughs> it's our uh, fault. Because he went... <laughs> He tried really hard in college, and like he will tell me his college story, and I will tell him my college stories, and they they don't sound a lot alike. No. He was a very good student. I yeah. can't believe I got into any grad school. I wasn't a good student. I just I just didn't have my GPA is hilarious. It's like good. Then I was like, oh god, I want to go to grad school. Boop, straight up. <laughs> it's like. The second I decided, like, I gotta gotta apply myself. Listen to you kids up there. 
just get drunk. I, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so George was yeah. in the room when Elder Dragon Highlander was created. He was just 88. too drunk to, to remember it. And so, oh, we're still my friends, like my I, one of the guys I talked to, one of the guys who might meet us at Gamma. Uh, he was the one I was talking about. Like, he was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he was like he like he was one of the ones that like helped popularize the format at Beloit. That's super cool. That's He's awesome. the one told me the history. Sam Black was there, very yeah. famous magic player. Your best friend. Mm. <laughs> I don't All know right. him. So now, flash forward <laughs> forty years later, after George went to college, forty years later, um, four or forty, forty. Uh, it's just an old joke. Um, you're the oldest person thing. on the podcast. And uh, and now we have Alchemy popping up, and we have Karlov Manor potentially Commander on Magic Arena yesterday. So, Josh, you shared this. This came out yesterday. Did, did Commander actually pop up, or what happened? Oh, you, the the release of this card? No, yeah. Commander wasn't coming with the release of this card. Everyone's just now speculating they're prepping to bring Commander to uh, Arena. Of course they are. Gotcha. Oh, I got a hot take on that. Of course yeah. they are. What's your hot take? That's going to be terrible. Yeah. Commander is already thing. from if you take the social gathering and like talking with your oh, friends out of it, it's by far the worst way to play magic. It takes forever. You never get another turn. And you on arena, people using people using the rope, you're going to play once every 10 minutes. That's it's going to be te- it's going to be terrible I, with no I talk. Have- I have never had a fun time playing Magic Arena. I've never once enjoyed sitting there and playing Magic Arena. I think it's great. Yeah, Magic Arena is fun. Commander on Arena, that's going to be the worst way to play I Magic. Like gems. You just buy those. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> George is just swiping his credit card. I won again. Um, I, thought you could, I, thought you could, I thought you had to win gems. No, you win I mean, coins. I, yeah. I don't really. Which is arena. which is why you don't have any coins and you have all the gems. I, I have no gems and no coins. <laughs> nor do so, I have a Magic Arena account. Josh, if you could go back to 2019 and cancel the year of Commander, would you do it? Yeah. Why? <laughs> what do you what, mean? Like, I, what a dumbass question. Yeah. Josh, you, if you could cancel the format you dislike that you that like has dominated the game you love. No, would hold you on. Do it. Hold on. I it's deeper than that. I also think it would be better for Commander. I think c- Commander's in its wor- at its worst when you're forced into playing Commander, mm-hmm. when you don't get to take a natural magic product and explore it in the way that it was designed and created and you get to be the guy that breaks that out of the mold and pushes it somewhere it's not supposed to be and have that fun and that experience. When you don't have that, when it's just forced on you, I don't think it's as great. Do I think they should do no commander? Obviously not. It's by far the most popular way you play the game. But when it dominates everything, I think commander says it's worst. I, I, I agree with the statement of not liking them making things directly for commander. I miss one commander set a year. Uh, the the point where I disagree with you though is I have a hard time feeling like magic is as successful in twenty twenty four without the popularity and growth of Commander. Um, like I just have a hard time grasping, and I, there's no data, right? Like we don't have the data of number we of don't players. Have the alternate universe data. Damn you, Bob Iger. <laughs> Marvel well, movies. I mean, we don't have the data to see the growth pattern out of magic but wizards is printing a like an absolute metric ton more product which means that there must be a much larger demand um no <laughs> shout out think? pokemon you don't um, think you don't think there's a greater demand now than in 2019 they grew one and a half percent last year and they're projecting, projecting it down year this year i mean that's some incredible growth um you know that almost keeps up with a third of inflation um so um like yeah facts are flood to josh um the um so, com- well, like, good. Co- commander's a real problem I was, this is actually what i was talking to my friend about and like here is why i think i think it makes it really hard to produce a reasonable box for magic 
Right. Which is why like, they're that's why they did set boxes because that was for commander players. Then they were like, oh shit, everybody plays commander, nobody plays anything else. So we gotta get rid of the other box, and now we're mm-hmm. just kind of stuck. Well, that's why now they're doing commander decks. This is why Modern Horizons Three has commander decks because every set's got commander decks. That's the only yeah, thing I that mean, like, sells. That's the thing that sells the most of, and it's probably way more profitable for them to slam a bunch yeah. of cards in one little packaging I mean, than yeah. like uh, mag. You know, get your fud alert out, Josh. Magic should is now just a commander game. Should like, I be like they- getting rid of? of space on my shelf to add more commander decks should i be replacing spots on my shelf that are booster boxes with more commander decks i mean like that i don't know um but i do think that like magic is now a commander game and i think that like there was a lot of unintended consequences in that that watsi has struggled to deal with yeah i think i think the year of commander was way more successful than they thought it would be and, and that, that has yeah, radically yeah. changed the way people interact with this game yeah and it turned into the, the look at this de- i've the had dec- a good conversation about this this week this is great i actually have knowledge this week it Shout turned out to in, me. and it turned into the decade of commander well yeah. I mean, it turned into the game of commander yeah. right i mean like you know the problem well, we see that- magic we Go should ahead. create a fan made format that's really popular and takes off. That's a one on one format for Magic the Gathering. You know what it's shout called? Out Rush. Shout I'm gonna out, say it every week. Shout out to Tommy. It's called Canlander. Canadian Highlander. No, I'm pro Canada. Um The pendulum for Magic seems to swing every once in a while. In the the year of Commander, it swung on steroids way in the Commander direction, right? And I I think there's say when's the last swing? I don't. I I literally don't know that. Yeah, me either. I don't know. I don't know. Well, pre pre pandemic, Modern was crazy popular. So was Standard. And when you put Arena out there, Standard blew up, right? Everyone cared about standard, wanted to play standard. Then they make this big shift towards commander. Everyone's playing commander. And the boost for commander has blown every other format and their history away. I don't know if any format has ever been as popular as commander is right now. And I don't think it's even close. Yeah, I mean, and I was there at the founding. But yes, and this is coming from a founding member. He actually helped make the rules for commander, I think. In a CEDA, he's, he's, just, he's just too drunk to remember. <laughs> but God, I, God, I, I, I think there, undergrad. <laughs> so I think there's a swing back, not only coming, but I do think we have an opportunity. That, Josh, to, let me ask you, like, let me push back on that. Like, yeah, I don't why see do any evidence that? of that. Well, we're starting to see some of the community be upset with the amount of commander, and again, it's just fun it's, alert. Give it to me. Yes. I'll, it's content creators here and there. It's small pockets of people. It is not this overwhelming loud voice on YouTube or on Magic Community saying, I'm done with Commander. But never before has anybody really been vocal about the fact that I'm sick of Commander being in everything. And we have finally seen a long history of set design and box opening experience to lean into our our cryptic and sorcery brethren affected and maybe even damaged by the push for commander so i think we're going to find some natural regression to the mean here sooner or later what do you think well what do you so here's my here's the way i view it and like listen god knows that we are to say we're outside of my depth is (laughs) a, a, a pretty significant understatement here I I'm wondering if magic doesn't have a winner take all problem where the thing that makes magic, the reason magic just wins, right? The reason why like every TCG that's like, I'm going to take down magic. You can now pretty much just laugh at them is because like there's, I can take a deck of things, go to any LGS across the world and be mm-hmm. like, I want to play this thing. If you have stores not allow that thing to happen, right? If my store is a modern store or a legacy store or a or whatever, sure. That 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 benefit gets diminished in some meaningful yeah. way. Let me be so, clear. I don't think that'll ever happen. I don't think a so, store will ever be like, you can't play Commander here. No, no, well, no. There's that like, one like, store that had that ban list. It's like 450 cards long. Do you see that? That was pretty sweet. I do wonder, like, I I do wonder if Magic doesn't have like a winner take all problem, right? Where like, you know, there can't be three eBay's, there can't no. be three TCGs. So players. then, what happens? What what's what's the problem? No, with that? 
but but George, well, the here's is that, like one format just has to win, and like yeah, so I will be commander. Yeah, and, so I don't think that's true. I don't I'm think not saying one, it is true. I'm saying that's the way I view it. Like I could be wrong. I, I don't, I don't think one. On this. In my opinion, one format doesn't have to win. One format will always be the biggest, and I don't think in my Magic the Gathering lifetime it will ever be anything but commander. I can't see that happening. It's the community loves it too much. However, it's young. You can only do so much of of something. So the reason for commander is because Magic players wanted to explore. Well, right? here's where I disagree they with got, that pretty obviously. Louis has found no limit to the amount of games he'll pump. So, like, people can just keep doing the same things forever. I was like, where did, I was like, where did that come from? I was like, where are you going with this? How are you going to bring this one around? <laughs> you took Always. a wide shot there. I make, but, one, I make one gameplay video. One gameplay video. <laughs> That's where it starts. Per week. Shout out to Cryptic. <laughs> oh, I'll add dib, dibs on Star Wars Market Update weekly. <sighs> YouTube.com slash hometown TCG. Go ahead, guys. I'm done picking Louis for this 30 seconds. <laughs> I, I think we're going to see some commander players start to want something different. And the the reason I think Magic wins and does so much better than all these other TCGs, partially what you said, but also you can attack Magic from so many different angles. You can be a collector. You can be an investor. You can play standard, modern. You can play 60 card one on one. You can play draft limited. You can play commander. It's there's so many people in this community, you can almost find some pocket of people to f call home in Magic the Gathering. And I think we're going to see how, – how is that not true? That might be – No, that, I was objecting the home comment. That no, might no, be I was, true for you in a major metropolitan ci city where you can go to a store and find a modern term. But for the vast majority of the locations in the country – it is how getting, far how far is, do you think you have to drive from your front door to find a modern tournament? It's hard. None of the stores oh. in my area can fire a modern event regularly. Like how it's, far it's, do you think you have to drive to find know, and, there's and, RCQs there's going a, a around that are modern? Between what think, you said and can you get in a car and drive an hour to play modern? You said to find a no. modern community. That, no, that, no, uh, yeah, a people, a group of people. There's a Facebook group, there's a Discord, there's webcam games, there's online there's a million i never said you're gonna go sit and at gamegrove.gg and guarantee to get modern to <laughs> like, fire that is not what i said but i hate anyone, when you do that <laughs> any one-on-one -on -one format like anything we yeah, have we that's, have a that's the world format. we live in right now we have we have a good popper community only because we shout out to donald number eight winner number four we winner. got a bunch of, of popper decks and made it super easy for people it's to get in. um but like Man, like it, everybody I know who wants to play modern cannot. We can't get it to fire. We can't get it to happen. Modern it, pioneer standard. We're doing. That's not. That's not my point. If you're passionate about about sorcery, all commons, the all commons format in sorcery. Guess what? There's two other people in the entire universe passionate about that. So you don't have a community. There's nowhere you can go. I agree. What I said is, if you are passionate about popper. In Magic the Gathering, something that, by the way, is pretty niche to you. It doesn't globally fire on the rate that I think right. you think it does. I don't think But if it you're fires passionate about that, guess Never what? Never said that. Never guess said what? that. Guess what? You can find a popper community, whether it be a Discord group, a Reddit post, a Reddit group or page or whatever the Reddit don't go things there. are called. Only go to you can, a Facebook post. You can find a subsect of people to live in and grow from there and play webcam games, play online. Then when you have an event worthy, you can drive that hour. It's something Magic does better than anything else because there's 20 to 50 I, million people depending on my mood. Who are you arguing time. right now? I agree with you that Magic you, is a bigger no, you just, game. I agree. That's my point. I agree with you. It's, it's, it's a not, bigger it's not, game than no, no, no. every other no, game. No, but possible. you just said I'm my point buddy. was that you're going to go down to the game store and play one-on-one. -on -one. Not my point. Not my point at but, all. But Josh, not even close. Know, people want a people want to have a group of people to play games with. They like they want that. They don't want to bounce around to every different LGS in a three hour radius and and travel like that. They want to play how formats. We, how did we get back here? Are you as amazed as I am? How did we get back to this? I'm here for it. That's um, why I no. like I disagree that we're gonna regress oh. from commander. Like the the commander people that so I know. So you don't think commander's gonna regress at all? It's nope. gonna continue to the moon or stay exactly where it is forever. 
I don't. I don't. See that seems ever mo- I don't see us ever moving from Commander. Everybody I know who nope. who gets I bored from commander, from commander. If you are bored playing Commander, what they do is they build another Commander deck. That's what they do. They get excited for their next Commander deck, and they put their old one on the shelf, or they sell the cards, and they move on to another Commander deck. I I I don't think that there is a ability to create I, like i said i said this a couple times in videos this week the average magic player i don't think has played a one-on-one magic format now like the, i think i think that's true right now that's fair that's, that's a hard I, magic the gathering is a completely different game than it was in 2016 it's completely different yep. um i don't think that we get back to that kind of uber competitive feel of the game never get back there Agree. I don't. You know, I agree. You'll okay. never get back to what magic was in the early 2000s. That's cool. not that's not possible. Thanks a lot, George, for creating Commander. Listen. I <laughs> None of that Dog. is anything that I said. So I blame Mad Dog. Met first of all, Mad Dog and Red Dog, both criminally underrated. False. Red Dog. False. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. Mad, uh, Mad next time Mad you're here. Dog. I've got some stuff for you, dude. Nope, I'm good. Okay, we're gonna give you the Chicago treatment. God, when, when, all right, if we if we do go to Gen Con, we should just drink Mad Dog and then play board games. All right, that would be a lot. Here of Here it is, comment section. Get your fingers ready. I we're in the YOLO me. mode of the podcast. All right, here's the question. Okay, I did I, not. I was not needed for that last part of the podcast. I was lied to. I feel. Guess we're on the same page. Here's the question. <laughs> uh, we are moving away. I thought from it was just... very clear. We were talking about gameplay. That I was like, you're needed here. You're the most valuable. I had a lot to that section, though, with my uh, history. You did. All right. I'm on on fire tonight, actually. All right. Well, let's see what you have for this. You have infinity money. You have any amount of money that you need to spend. You can buy a full master set of any TCG set that's been. You can buy a full master set of divorced dads if you want. A full master set of Star Wars. whatever the game whatever the game's called <laughs> not a great start a, dude not a great away. start you for your star full, wars pump you can buy a full that's your pump you're the one selling box not openers. a great start that's for you start. you started our chat God, today the fact that i became the anti indie tcg was the turn absolutely no not a coming. great start for your star wars pump. you can buy a full master set of lost caverns of ixalan right uh in 10 years was that within two years yeah, yeah, that was like yeah. uh, six a months, couple, ago. Months, ago. Couple months ago. I was thinking of uh, oh, rivals. One. With your infinite yeah. money glitch, you can buy a full master set of any set from any game released in the last two years, and in ten oh. years, in ten years, can you imagine if this game is around in ten years? In ten yeah. years, you either make the increase in value of that set. So if your set costs you ten dollars, and in ten years it's worth twelve dollars, you have a two dollar profit, or you have to pay Shout the to decrease. <laughs> Shout out to <Jesus. laughs> Or you have to pay the decrease. So if your if your set costs ten dollars and it's worth three dollars, you have to so, pay seven dollars. Louis, which one of your pumps will you th- pump now? Do you think? Just asking for a friend. No, I, I want to hear from you guys. I have my answer in oh, my head. No, no, no. You uh, no. You guys inspired uh, nope. You're thing. starting it. Okay. You're starting it. I'll, I'll start. I don't care. Uh, okay. uh, all right. Oh wait, Metazoo Kickstarter came out before two years. Yes, you can't be mad as a Kickstarter. Oh, this is tough now. Yeah. Any <laughs> set released in the last two years. Nightfall was even after that, right? Nightfall? You're going with Nightfall? So here's my here's my math. Oh, wait. What are we doing? This percentage gains or actual value increase? I think I would pick that for either because I, I think it's that or, or honestly, I think it's like cryptic. Like, because here's my math. You got very this low floor. Wild. This is not very wild. low floor. That's very stupid. low floor. This is you ain't gonna not, lose anything. I did Louis, did you see this coming? Because I did not I, see this coming. I did not expect cryptic to you show up. You ain't gonna lose Bro, anything. I've got some George. cryptic for you. <laughs> oh wait, I guess like wait. I thought you said I thought you said indie. I thought you said any game. No, any, any, set? Game. any game. Any game. Any oh. set of any game. Oh, George, you're, you're talking, drinking college stories you the... and medicine <laughs> and cryptic pump. Wild this week. Absolutely. A fever. A fever. That fever is fevering. Um. God, is the answer actually Pokemon? It's got to no. be. Is the answer 151? It's not. Oh, 151's an interesting one. Yeah. 
Was the answer one fifty one? Shut up, George. Like, the problem is that like, Arcana is already expensive. Yep. Like that's the problem. Like one fifty one is like Lorcana's you know fifty cents gumball. Lorcana is one of my top. Lorcana is in my top two. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you what. First chapter. But, is wait, are you two. are you including Enchanted? Yeah, it's a full master yeah, set. Full, full master, master set. set. Every card. So, All right, screw it. I'll go chapter one. Screw it. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll go. Chapter one. I'll, I'll go with mine. Chapter one was my number two. Uh, so here, here's my my risk levels. Okay, ready? I've got I've got Lord of the Rings. I've got chapter. Oh, that's a really good hold on, one. Do you get the hold on. Do yeah, you get, you get the one, one of ring? every serialized card. Just one of each, like soul ring, like one of each soul ring. But okay, you get the one of one. Hold on. Do you no, get no, the no, one of get one? one? You don't get the one. I'm about to say because now you've got two one of ones. You've ha- you no, cut your value in half it. off the gate. Screw it. You get the one of one because listen. Do you get. You have to do find you materialize it from more. Posty? You have to find your your value yeah, what Posty valued. You have to find somebody who pays more than Posty in ten years. No way. No does work. the other one of one Wait. exist, or do you materialize it from Posty? What other one and of one with are you talking about the One Ring. Does inflation slow down over the next ten years? You have infinite money, so you buy the one of one from Posty right now. That's the point. There's only one one of one. It's a one of one. Oh, what do you buy it from, Ed? At the that's value funny. he bought it from. That's the only value we have for it. Okay, oh, cool. Let me give you. Funny. Let me give you my my math, and then I'll, I'll take Josh's answer. George, you were first chapter, right? So I have three sets that came to mind in my head. I had, oh, I guess four came. I, all of them came to mind, but the three top ones that I was like really <laughs> as I was putting my kids to bed tonight and texting you guys, I was really. <laughs> Was the Louis card <laughs> was uh was Lord of the Rings, which has incredible safety. Yeah, that's a good right? one. That's it has really incredible safety in terms of like magic will still be around, right? You don't have the risk yep. of the game not being. Do there. you also get the holiday set? No, no, it would just be it would just be the first. Okay. Set. Just, just and those, I, the I would first pick the release. I would okay. pick the first release. Um, yeah, you do call. have though incredible risk too, like. You're spending the amount of money you're spending, and now we're throwing in the one on one ring. It's like even insane the amount of risk that you have to lose. If you owe, let's say the one on one ring drops by five hundred thousand dollars, you're just out five hundred grand. You just right? lose. Like, it's it's just, it's just that card. Yeah. Your whole your yeah. whole bet here is on that card. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if that thing I'm goes up two percent, like it's bet. more than the rest yeah. of the set. And even like if you bet. even if you take the one on one out, you're still assuming that there's not a better soul ring in the future or something. You know what I mean? Like you're still making a lot of you know bets yeah okay so you had that uh first chapter was the one that i feel like is the safest bet like george that's a really good answer it's a really safe bet you're not losing an incredible amount of money what's a i bet you a master set is uh what three grand four grand something like that i would, I would venture to say, I to say. That, but yeah after that's all the enchanted and foils and whatever and, and you're, you're not losing like a metric your risk isn't that high. And if the game is still around, I mean, that's a huge game. When? Uh, when? And then the third one for me was beta. I know you thought it was going to be alpha, but beta sorcery risk level is pretty low. You're thinking like probably, probably like a $7,000 risk point, but the, the print and the supply is really, really small. Like the, the, like if you think 10 years in the future, uh, so this I, is the beta. legitimate if the game's around in 10 yeah, years yeah i go with the risk yeah. of beta. i go with the risk of yeah. beta is my that's my that's my yolo mode like so, first chapter is the safest lord of the rings is riskiest uh beta is like that happy louis medium zone of like risk reward yeah, that'll, be their, that'll be their ninth set when they come out when you tell it <laughs> yeah in 10 years i'll have nine sets and we'll still be waiting for them to to release it <laughs> They're gonna, this theoretical that you've just postulated at the end of it, Sorcerer has released as many sets as Magic does in a year. Yeah. <laughs> That's, Magic needs to slow down. Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? Well, it's not. It's, it's 10 a sets a year. <laughs> yeah. Something in yeah. the middle there. Yeah. It's almost like, yeah. I don't like think one Bokana is the answer. I also don't think 11 year. is the answer. Something like so, Kana, four sets a year would be nice, I think. I four, four to six is like a perfect number. And Magic, could you imagine seven with four standard releases ten poles. two commander releases and one universes beyond how did you not say ten, ten poles? Like they, I, they, I, I was literally just getting to one universes beyond tent pole release and then it's wait, an actual tent i thought Hold standard on. was ten poles that i but list follow my metaphor if you've got four releases for standard you've got two slightly bigger releases for universes beyond commander and one giant release modern horizons three lord of the rings something in Isn't the middle basically what it's we have truly now? a tent pole yeah but now there's more okay can we get back to your answer for this question i like this now. oh it's way better 
<laughs> yeah, I, it was a tent pole. I was showing you how it was a tent pole. I was just showing the tent pole on the podcast. Okay. I, I don't understand it. the problem. What's your what's your bet, Josh? I I honestly and I I'm, I'm biased because someone's talking to me about a master set of 151. I thought it was 151, and here's why. Hmm. I think 151's got a lot of it pulls at the heartstrings. Pokemon is tried and true. It's you're not going to have like the game doesn't exist in 10 years, and it's also the game that's currently beaten down the hardest. So no, you've got it's selling more, more than anything else, Josh. <laughs> Josh, I don't it sells more than magic. I don't think Pokemon's the game that's beaten down the hardest. I th- like comment section. You guys answer that, but jo- Josh, it sells more than magic. Just ask Louis Target. Um. <laughs> okay, one fifty one's a really interesting one. I think one fifty one is safer. One fifty one's the safest bet. Yeah, you're gonna I think make, it's got you're the gonna, room. You're I, gonna I make it, money on one fifty one for yeah, sure. That's for a, sure. I, I don't think you have that's that's what I went with. I don't think you have an opportunity to lose. What's a master? Like one fifty one is cheaper in ten years. Like seven hundred and fifty bucks ish. God, is that really all I think is? it's way less. Oh my god. It's like six fifty to seven hundred, right? Something like that. Uh, I that's I think there's there's been sales for six fifty to seven hundred. Yeah. Not what I would so, say. Yeah. So if you're at if you're at six hundred dollars, right? Let's let's go yeah. with that. You're not losing much there. Like there's no well, even call, let's call it an even thousand, right? Let's call it an even thousand bucks, right? For like a listed yeah. price. But right. What's, the, what's this? Can I change my answer? Can I change yeah. my answer? Yeah. Yes, of course. I want to buy the set of the one piece cards from the championship that just sold for one ninety four. Wait, you're no, then like you're gonna lose. Regular release set. Regular release. Okay, set. never mind. Never mind. You're you're also going to lose. I wouldn't do that. I'm gonna uh, lose two thirds of my value. A lot of Com- money. I'm- Comment section is <laughs> definitely gonna say be mad. None of us talked about One Piece because One Piece is another interesting one. Oh, but- okay. Listen, buying into the hype. <laughs> That's what uh, all right, you so buying into the, the Everybody on this podcast has bought into the hype before. Okay, and like everybody on this podcast still knows buying into the hype. This how amazing that feels to buy into the hype, and every day you open your computer, you're like, oh, I made more money. <gasps> no, oh, this my guy God. never stopped. Never stopped buying into the hype. I am the hype uh, train. Hype. Uh, I mean, like, you just changed your hype. Um, yeah, that's not true. How's Chris doing? Good. Bad. Have you talked about that I have not um, changed away from sorcery in a over a year. I've been that is not on. Accurate. It is, that is accurate. Not- it is no. accurate. No, you went there's from a, cryptic to sorcery cryptic, instantaneously. There's a there's a cryptic. When was Wicked Prophecy? We're good. we're close to Wicked Prophecy right now. It's been close to a year. You were, it was no, it, it was it was new phone who dis instantaneously. <laughs> um, it was welcome to voicemail, okay, son. What's the what's the upside of one fifty one potential though? Let's say we all make money. Let's say none of us lose. Right. Let's say oh, all the games are. I don't think I have the biggest. I don't think I have the biggest upside. Because you went, what'd you go with? You, I went what was your, you gave beta. us like, I you gave like three beta. different answers. I didn't know which one you picked. Sorcery yeah, beta. Sor- sorcery uh, beta. Okay, I think I got you there. No, let's say we all win. Let's say we all yeah. win. There's no, all three games are around. What, what's your upside? And what we want, the, the, there's so much of it. Like, that's the. Oh, I think, listen, I think you can tell me a story where 151 is the set from the last decade. I mean, it's, it's like, I mean, like, name a popular set other than Evolving Skies in 151. And also, along that yeah, path, that if anything it. happens where people of <laughs> anything happens where people from our generation come into money and we do another nostalgic pullback to Pokemon from our childhood and Let's you it, can't baby. afford first edition stuff. I'm doing all I can, you guys. Um, <laughs> You're not. You constantly FUD Pokemon. That's what oh, you I'm did. At, I'm at, I meant to spread the sickness around. Oh. Um... <laughs> Pandemic 2.0. Here we go. The George the only, That's the only way Pokemon comes back to life. <laughs> Three weeks from now, <laughs> CNN's like, there's a guy in one of the Carolinas that really just got everybody. I love sick. that you still don't know what Carolina I'm in. No clue. No, no clue. You're My in the best. Part about you. What do you say? He's in the best Carolina. Damn right. Yeah. I have no clue what Carolina you're in. I got. Go to, I was supposed to go to worst Carolina on Saturday. I don't know if we're able to make it now. The thing is, you could tell me any of the cities in any of the Carolinas, and I wouldn't be able to put I would. So my brain doesn't. Are you going to drag the sickness cross border? I don't think. I, I don't think I can go if I feel this bad. I'm hoping I can get better by then. Mm. I have great tickets. I'm going to see Blink 182. No, um, no, I'm not. Um, I'm like so jealous. 
I saw it in your face for a split Dude, second before you realized I, I was doing that. My my YouTube feed is nothing but Blink One Eighty Two live shows. Nothing. Those I've are good done, live shows. I've done nothing but listen to Blink One Eighty Two for like six weeks straight. When's your concert? I don't know. August. <laughs> I know it's on my stepdad's birthday because last time we had tickets, it was on my stepdad's birthday and he turned 70. So we couldn't go. And this time we were like, we're going. You're 71. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Wow. We'll be celebrating. With we'll we'll call you from the road. That's brutal. Okay. Um, all that's, right. not, that's not brutal. That's a wild question. I can't wait to hear what all of you guys in the comment section come up with in terms of your answers and why we were all right or wrong. So. Can, I, can I get, can I get my tea now? Yeah, it gives us a perfect time to talk about sorcery. You guys, okay, good. <laughs> Somebody asked me the other day, they said, why can't you get Josh and George to care at all about sorcery? I said, I don't well, know, here's the but I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop well, trying. Here's the weird part. I mean this. I think you know this, Louie. It is my favorite TCG to play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean that. It's my favorite TCG to play. I wish you Tendy Farmers would get the hell out of my game. I'm not – no, I'm – We got my tea. Uh, shout out to all the people who are currently on their way or uh, at the event that we're hosting on the day that this podcast goes out. Super stoked. I'm actively getting tagged in yeah, sorcery Dude, social so media funny. posts. You're the number three sorcery content creator, according to some guy on Facebook. No. No. No, no, no. Number two, I I uh, I didn't whatever reason the sorcery um, channels uh, in the Discord like the I'm, I'm above the content creator or whatever like I think it's because I'm a store and they have that like higher than content creator and so I didn't notice that I wasn't the color for content creators. I texted Simon as a joke and I was like, "Hey man, I pulled the foil stone. Can I please get the content creator?" <laughs> It's like, it's like, <laughs> is well, how uh, sick would it be? Just just walk down this with me. Okay. If that's how you found out you were banned from the sorcery content creator program, <laughs> it just removed. removed <laughs> they just removed the, the Discord tag and then didn't be like. Love he made a in. big. He made a big deal and pissed and moaned online last time. Maybe you won't notice. <laughs> That's good. Oh, that's so good. Um, all right, we're gonna talk about sources. Oh no, but really, I'm super stoked about the event. I gotta tell you, I'm nervous, dude. I have not been this nervous about a event in a long time. Uh, you you did a sick interview, but I have a single question for you. Okay. What are the prizes at the event? Uh, so they're written down. <laughs> You got asked this in the interview and didn't know the answer. You didn't look it up after I the interview. I didn't have the questions beforehand. What do you want I from know, me? but like after that interview, you didn't go oh. back and look it up. And I know I put them somewhere. And also, I'm going to give more. Like, people don't know this. But like, I know. I I've know got you alpha will. boxes. I'm going to give alpha packs to the winners. I'm going to give away a bunch I was of just, stuff. I was like, just hoping you would have been like, oh, I should know this and looked it up afterwards. Not anybody is walking away Let's from go, baby. That who didn't get what they are rightfully deserved plus more. Oh, I promise you that. I know. I'm not worried about that. I thought for sure after you got asked the question, no. you didn't know the answer to. You would have looked it up as a for as your a, own event. No, as an event organizer, those are the things that don't worry me at all. Because like, if someone's like, yeah. "Hey, man, you forgot that this," I'll be like, "Oh, here's double that." Yeah. Like, I just have no problem giving prize. Like, I yeah. like giving prize for it. It's like. You do. It's you fun. do. You do run. You, you. We joke a lot. You run pretty good events. I am terrified of all the judge calls and all that stuff. Like the worst oh. case scenario in my life is like we handle something wrong. Call Simon. Oh yeah, I've got I've got like six people. <laughs> I've been messaging people all day on Discord, being like, "Hey, are you gonna be watching the stream? Are you gonna be around on Saturday just in case we need more people?" Call here? Eric. Be like, "Hey, dog. Hey, big question. Hey, dude. Good morning. It's two a.m. New Zealand." Need you to answer this question in West Virginia. Have you ever judged an event? For what? Like, what does that like mean to you? A, 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 be, been a judge, like a, am, an actual judge at a TCG event. I am very often the judge at a TCG event. No, but like, that was a like lot when of it mattered. Marks. Like a judge at <laughs> an event. That was an that incredible mattered. amount of quotation marks. Josh, and do I you don't think really that understand I've been that. I'm. I have sure been a judge, the, the judge at an event. Yeah, at big events. I just use then, my resources. 
So you've been the mouthpiece for someone who has answers. Like, I don't understand what you're saying. Yeah. Like, but like, that's the most stressful part. This one matters to me. And like, yeah, you typical popper event in my store or whatever it's just like the the bar is just less when i know people who are there like like a lot of people are coming from out we got people coming from florida we got people coming from iowa and idaho i don't know one of the eyes one of those states um and like the stakes are higher for me because people are traveling to it and it's not like my local yeah. community so uh but we'll be hitting up people on discord and stuff like that anyway that's not what we're talking about uh, we're going to talk about Sorcerer Premiums today because we had uh, a really interesting thing that never really happens in the indie TCG world, uh, and that is that a, a, a high-value card sold on the same day, the same card sold in two different grades. So typically, one of the big things that's a problem with TCGs and indie TCGs is these expensive cards sell so few and often that it's hard to get like a trend on the market price or what a premium is for a card well, there's a clear trend on this market price <laughs> i knew you were coming for it i knew it. where's the fud alert josh get it out fud alert i fud love alert. how you guys are like oh somebody said a fact fud make your own fud alert yeah no i don't know how to do that it's actually pretty I'm impressive fud alerting your call for the fud alert uh, get a card Ra- a rad card. token rad token <laughs> boom that, that take is radioactive yeah, get away from it shit on the, on get, the channel get, get away from it <laughs> Um, all right, so a uh, Alpha Foil Philosopher's Stone BGS nine five sold or BGS nine sold on March second for forty two hundred dollars, and then on March third, the next day, a nine five. These are both auctions, which is important. Um, mm-hmm. Ended for sixty two hundred dollars, so about a one point about one hundred and seventy percent premium um, for right. the about seventy. I guess that'd be seventy percent right. premium. For Are the you not gonna mention nine five. the the best sale? Yeah. The oh you want to talk about the uh the CGC 10 pristine dude that it's there. sales wild it's there that sales absolutely ludicrous. CGC wild is goat. CGC is goat. Stop it. You don't actually believe that if you're looking not for a CGC first edition Charizard, get my DMs. Continue. <laughs> oh, I forgot you had that. Is that pristine? Two. No. Do you want to trade that? Two of them. Do you want to trade it? For what? I don't know. Goblin Town. <laughs> You want any more medicine NFTs? Because last time I freaking wrecked you. <laughs> I believed in you, Mike. Now I believe in the MetaZoo deck from Fallout. Listen. Oh my gosh. The MetaZoo NFT trade we did was by far my most favorite trade in the history of the world because it's I couldn't mine. have anybody else that I would have traded that for. I would have felt pristine. I would have felt pretty bad. But for you, I just think it's I just think it's really funny. Like, hey, uh, when do you, I'm when about you to be kind to people around you? When's that come? Stop. When's that part of the podcast? Is that coming out the end Listen, or the beginning? Or like, when it. is that part? Don't make out? it sound like you don't also think it's funny and make me look I like do. a bad guy. You and I joke <laughs> I about it all the time, all the time, all the time. Um, but the viewers don't know that. Um, so yeah, I mean, like, you know, CG, CGC is goat. If you're looking for a CGC 10 first edition Charizard hollow, get my DMs. Yeah, cool. um, can I DM you? I'm about to come into some Star Wars. Mm. Let's I go. will take magic, Josh. cash, or Lorcana. <laughs> Josh asking for Star Wars today was not in my wild card. It was it was not there. Why? I don't know. We'll get to okay. it when we get and there. So then we got fourteen thousand dollars for the goat grading company. Then I guess what we had a December sixteenth sale of five thousand five hundred fifty five and a raw January thirtieth sale of sixty six hundred. Yeah, so it goes, you know, five, there it goes, what, five, six, four. Fourteen. <laughs> Fourteen. Four. Four. The trend is, I mean, the trend is your friend around If you're a back. buyer, if you're a buyer. Do you think, I have one question for you, Louie. Was you uh, saying this is your last chance to buy a, a, a Sorcerer Stone? Is that uh, listen, the go top again? The, the um, Alpha Foil Stone is at the same price today as a nine as it was raw when i bought my my first stone that i then graded in a nine five and sold to buy more alpha boxes so i could open one um Um, i so it's really interesting what i want to get into is the premium because i think this is like uh a really interesting thing in the modern what 
I love how you're like, I'm not just a tendy farmer. Let's talk about the premium on these graded cards that what are now unplayable. What would you like to talk about? What would you like to talk let's about? Let's talk about the text. Let's talk about the meta. What meta are you looking forward no, to seeing at your event? I, what meta I'd, like to, I'd week, like to really get into if they should do more than one set a year. I think that'd be great, Josh. <laughs> We've, we done like that. That. We've done I'd all like these to, things. No, no, but I would like to really get really into get into it. it. <laughs> Oh, I need to just no, start down. another podcast. I'm going to I'm gonna start another podcast. You know we how... did that before with Jock and he got five I know, and it was great. Collapsed. It was so Actually, much fun. No, it our was other so podcast much fun. was GOAT. You our got podcast, seven viewers. You all I'm going to take... Mm-hmm. We're going to start Reaction Phase, a sorcery TCG podcast. Ooh. I don't know. It's going to be rough for me. How many? How long can we spend talking about sharks? I only want to talk about no, one no, no, card, no, 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 and there's sorry. one set a year. I don't it's, want to it's, it's getting thin. It's getting not, thin. You're not invited. You were, I'm about to say. You were it's invited. getting thin. It's um, getting thin, bud. I mean, that premium seems to make sense to me. That one and a half premium for nine versus nine. It's a little higher than that. It's a little higher. What it's is like it? A, like, I think it's like 65%, something like that. I said one and a half. You're really bitching at me over over, over 10% difference? Yeah, uh, you would have well, done in that in our MetaZoo NFT I would not have. You were, not you have. were vicious in our MetaZoo NFT trade. I remember. Man, where did that get you, George? Maybe I remember you negotiating kind of hard around. with you on that. And I don't that remember I, that, to be honest. <laughs> I, I, no, I actually remember being like, yes, I'll take it. <laughs> Damn it, Mike. Um, <laughs> the... <laughs> And I saw my poker decks. So um, Mike and Bob are on a boat. <laughs> Bob gives me a divvy. Um, uh, um, I, that, that premium seems about right to me. Doesn't seem right, about right to you? Yeah, like I, I think the better. By the way, the I card, got this today. I don't know how I feel about this. Fruit splash, Canada Dry. The better That's the card, one. the better the card printing is, the less the premium should be. So I think that's true, but that's not the way the market reacts. Well, so like I, I'll, I'll be honest. I graded uh, my philosopher stone, came back a nine. I, cr- I cracked that shit and sent it back, and I got a nine five. Like, can't think of the pop up words all wrong. <laughs> like, but I know for a fact you did not send in your your thing. No, because they're not going to. Of course not. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Why correct the pop report for a game I love? Oh, is that it's what you're supposed attendees. to do? It's not about the. Wait, attendees. hold on. Are you supposed to do that? If you care about the game, I don't. There you go, there and we found there our is. intro. Yeah, and we found our intro. <laughs> don't care about the game because I didn't give them my little tag. Is are you is allowed to do that? I thought they were like they didn't like that. They don't like that, but like you're supposed to use it because it corrects the pop report. Oh, well, they can watch the podcast, and now they know nobody does that. Um, I this podcast pumps, dude. What do you mean? Don't be so I, negative. I think that for sorcery, the print quality is like yeah, dev it up. It, it's pretty good. So like. There's going to be a lot of that, and so I, the premium, I think, should exist, but I'm not sure where it is. Um, I've been getting like feedback of like a 50 percent premium, which would be a little bit lower than what's happening. 50 um, percent premium between what? Between nine, between nine and, and nine, nine five. five. Okay. The problem okay. is that we gotcha. we no longer just have one grading company. Like sorcery is like come on, Rudy, dominate the market already. Like um, sorcery just can't figure it out. We as a community, nobody will just like nobody's on the same page. All there's well, the, like four or five people who care, and like nobody is I like, also think they have a problem in that like once you get to a card of that price for a game that's been out for 15 minutes, the number of buyers craters. Yeah. The number of people willing to spend three thousand dollars on a card of a game that's been out for fifteen minutes and has produced one set. Yeah, I mean that's that all. is some that is some like listen. I'll give them credit. That is putting your money where your mouth is. Mm-hmm. That is some courage. It, it's I mean, both of them sold for pretty significant though. I was talking about the buyers. Yeah. yeah, the courage, not the coward, not the cowardly sellers like yourself who are selling cards as fast as they can. Talk about the courage of the buyers, None of these the money were, where their mouth yeah. is. I think it's uh, I think it's interesting to see with all the different companies. The CGC one is the one that's wild to me because there, there's CGC three of those. Dope. There's three of those. The pops three on the ten percent. That's high. There's only two hundred and twenty total alpha foil stones. Your last chance, buy it now. Continue well, it's like more than 1% of oh the alpha foils are like CGC's grading well, is just it's too easy. 
I mean, no, maybe the market, the, baby. The market but, disagrees. But the game also hasn't gone through any rigmarole. There was no like chance for these to be played or scratched or used before they got they were opened and sent right no, to grading. Yeah, I know. I just like the the ten on that. I don't know. It's weird. George, do you think that fourteen hundred fourteen thousand number is like a legit? You think? Of course, it's a ten. Okay, it's a pristine ten. It's one of the better tens. I think that's. I think it's wild. I think it's wild. I think it's wildly correct. I disagree, but uh, I, I think sorcery it, more. I trust the sorcery buyers to do the right thing, and the sorcery sellers to do the right thing. I want that on the record? Which is what? That's just what not. That that's just not where that they wouldn't lie and have fake sales and like have kill oh. bidders and have fake bidders. I trust the sorcery no, not yeah. to do that. They don't have a history of that. <laughs> I just don't understand it. I got to be honest with you. What? I was all in. And then I felt like I got slapped by reality, and maybe that's why. But I I can't see some of the card values of indie TCGs. Then things that are like a pristine ten pop three nine five. I don't care about any of it. I don't get it. I I I cannot wrap my brain around it. If you handed me that amount of money right now, that would be one of the last things in TCGs I'd ever spend it on. Well, there's a lot of reasons currently. One tax season like like there's a lot, a lot of the entire market for tcgs is up as a result of tax season people getting like money back um also I mean, crypto is down the last 60 days though like, i'm saying for, for, worth less i'm saying for uh, like ago. this card this particular card is worth less yes that is true um i i'm talking about across the board the tcg market though the whole tcg market across the board is up uh listen i think like even pokemon even no, how they impossible gates. um I mean, but, that guy come in and buy his pack. Sorcery okay. has, like, sorcery has a small but dedicated group of whales. That's who buys this. Yeah. Joe Sixpack ain't buying a four thousand dollar card of a game's first set. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah Joe Sixpack isn't buying a, a four thousand dollar card. Period. Yeah, I mean, I, or thus he saves up and buys a magic well, card. But, but like, I mean, like, you know, this is. Yeah. I, I think, Josh, the reason that you see prices like that is because the supply is also equally small. Yes, the buyers are the amount of buyers is small, but the supply is also very small. There, there's not that many of them. But like, um, just in, as far as indie TCGs goes, we just haven't seen this go well, right? I mean, it's gone. There's a great book called "This Time It's Different." Josh, you should read it. I, and, like and I'm it, not saying it's. The, I'm not saying entire, everything is cratered, and I'm not saying nothing I, is ever different. Hold on, I'm not saying that's the case. The entire but, market it hasn't gone well. I agree with that. When you look at a snapshot of graphs, it looks like it hasn't gone well. But individuals have made significant amount of money doing this in the community. Like it, it's not different. Sure. They, if like fair the, enough. If that's the, your goal here is to is to tendy farm, then it can go well. But that's like well, a lot of it is for sure. Yeah. Like that's what a lot of it is. And I just, I is, can't. And I'll be honest. And this, like, this is like, this is, like, I, I'll, yeah, like, this is why sorcery frustrates me. It's not you, Louis. It's, it's not like this sorcery, is, though, dude. It's happening in One Piece. It's happening in everything but Pokemon and Magic. And not Gokana. Gokana, uh, very reasonable it, prices. It happened in Gokana. Remember when? Yeah, people, it kind of, it kind of already happened. <laughs> yeah, look at the troves, and people were resealing troves. And they, like it, and, and, they and they printed enough to make sure it wasn't a problem in the future. No, it, they never reprinted troves. Well, they don't want troves. Troves are garbage. We want we want troves boxes. are like two hundred and eighty dollars. If there's a loophole for money to be made in the TCG industry, it's going to be like done. Like it's going to happen. There's enough sure. eyeballs on it. Um, but I I think it's like I don't know. I just it's can't true. fathom like spending that amount of money. I it has to be money that I, I I have to have enough money where it's like if I set this on fire at my desk, I just don't care. Yeah, like it has to be that to me. Yeah. And I don't know, it, I don't know what amount of money I'd have to own. And maybe it's just from growing up and being cheap and broke. I don't. I, I feel. Well, yeah, that's. A, that's I feel that way about a dollar. I can't the, like set a dollar on fire for the, fun. Like the yeah. person who spends sixty two hundred dollars on a sorcery alpha foil probably has the money to lose sixty two hundred dollars on a sorcery alpha yeah. foil. Like, sure, sure. Yeah. I'm just saying that's it's it's a struggle for me. I, I was like, I can't. Yeah. I mean, like, so the, I think I, I don't yeah. see the value there. But the reason that people put it into sorcery alpha foil or into one piece 
one hundred and ninety four thousand dollar card that George is pumping today, like is because they believe that the card game will move in a upwards direction in either a short or long term. The pro- I, like, and this is where the argument completely craters. Yeah, both of those things can be true. Sorcery can be a good game that's played by a lot of people in 10 years and this card be worth a lot less. Oh yeah, 100 percent We've seen this like, in we've seen this in every single NDTCG. Yes. That's what that's what I'm saying. This is why I feel like we've watched like, this story over and over again. That, so like, I don't if this get card it. Lasts, and if the players grow, these values will magically turn into magic beans and all hit our beans stock together and see you punks on the moon. But that's not it's every like single fiction. That's not every single buyer of a card that thinks the value is just going to go up. Like I, I did this with the alpha foil backstab. I paid like two grand for an alpha foil backstab. And I know as a fact, it was a stupid price to pay for it. But like I sold other things that I didn't care about to do it so that I could be done collecting my alpha foil set and yeah, move like, on I with my life. Not this card. Yeah. But it, you, you, but you even be. said earlier, the reason that people are buying these cards is not, it's not for that. It's right, most of it is Tendy town. A lot of it is, but I'm saying there are people who buy cards just to complete a collection and to have the card because they yeah. like it, and they're not worried about I mean, the value sure. of the card in the short or even long term. Like that does exist. That that uh, person, yeah, does exist. I don't think that person is in the majority, and even in the small pool of fish that are buying these expensive cards, I don't think that person you described is the majority in that tiny pool. Yeah, maybe I don't know. As, as, and again, just to. We none of us actually know, right? Like yeah. we didn't sell or buy these cards. Well, you bought them all, but George and I didn't sell or buy these cards. I didn't so buy like, like that's the, that's where I. So am you didn't buy the cards we're talking about. I, you bought all the other ones. How cool would it be if you bought the cards we were talking about though, just so we could have this conversation? Oh, if I bought that card, yeah, yeah. I mean, did you buy the CGC ten? I I bid on the nine. <laughs> I've been like, you got like three, three grand. Yeah, I've been, I've been three grand on the nine. It would have been uh, sweet if like we had this conversation, then you just like held it up. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> this guy likes it. <laughs> this now, guy like, liked it. I don't know. It's wild. I think, uh, I think I like the idea that the market settles and figures out like a premium, though. Like that—that's what I wanted to get to on this. Is that the sorcery market? Even six, eight months now in, it seems like we're still figuring out what is what and what the value of things is. And I'm sure. looking forward to the time of which we can just accept values of things and understand that because I think that's healthier for the economy. But I don't think a I don't think I don't think you're gonna get there. I don't think that I don't think that is healthier. Oh, it'll like, get I mean, there. Like, this, it won't because like like sports cars aren't there because like it, like not not two nine point fives aren't the same, and those details really matter. If you're talking about a very high end collectible, if it, if you get to the point where a a a, a good and bad looking nine point five are worth the same amount, your game is not doing well. You're talking like, about the same company, like a same company, VGS nine point fives, or PSA tens, uh, mm-hmm. or you know, or the Goat CGC ten. Um, hit me up for that Charizard. I don't. Um, like, you, I don't you, buy you the push some. You push I don't, some weird agendas this week. I don't buy the idea that when you're bidding on a card on eBay, you can tell the difference between a nine five that looks good and doesn't look you good. You absolutely can if you get if they do it right and they do like the right little scanner tool. Um, like this is a big topic in sports. It's like not two nine point fives are not necessarily worth the same amount. I some agree with there's that, a reason they're called overgraded or undergraded. No, I agree. Um, like that's a big discussion. Like my uh, actually philosopher's stone is undergraded. definitely overgraded. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, it used to be a nine, right? I mean, like, it's that, right? I mean, like, it's the same card and it got two different grades, <laughs> or was it um, undergraded? I mean, like, about the amount of money that I slipped into the box. I don't I think that's I've never done that. Move, dude. I've that's a pro that. move, dude. I was, I was boxing up some stuff to send in the grading the other day, and one of the guys at the store was hanging out and we were chatting about stuff. I was like, you know, people like put bribes in these boxes. I was like, can you imagine being that brazen to put a bribe in a box that like some like. I don't know. Somebody opens. Can you imagine thinking that would work? <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, like that, I'm just taking that bribe and be like, Thank well, you. there's also cameras all over the place, too. Like, it's not like you, your boss wouldn't see you take the bribe. Like, that's yeah. especially true for things that aren't BGS. Like, PSA 10 is a pretty wide grade. Yeah. CGC if you send a $100 wide bill grade. in, do you have to grade it? Oh. So, if I'm the guy doing the grading, there's a $100 bill in there. Do I have to grade the card? And I can't take the $100 bill. Do I have to grade the bill and send it back to him? All right, let's move in. What you don't see that a lot of is like black label BGSs. You don't Not see that in black label. Zero. Black labels yeah. are those are those are pretty well. 
It's nice crazy. that something's reserved for, you know, tippity top. Yeah. Those are crazy. Yeah. Especially like Pokemon. There's a huge market for that stuff. You should get your Charizard graded black label and then you'll be able to sell it rather than just watching it road in value. Okay. I don't think mine would black label. <laughs> I don't think it would either. All right. One of them is pretty good. One of, them, one of them is probably correctly graded. The other one. I would not want a CGC of anything of that caliber. It's a po- Pokemon like CGC. I, I have not had that experience, but. Pokemon, no, CGC is hard with Pokemon. Mm. I'm not a fan of CGC. I just I don't know. like them. I like the old labels. I was the only one, though. Every left are new labels. I like the old labels. Mm. Give me that. I still got to reach out to Rudy's grading company. I see how that's going to go down. Do I'm it. so excited for that. It's just a Shopify website, so it's not that hard to do it. Like, no, like, I know. Yes, I want to find out. If, it's a hundred percent a Shopify. Just want to deal with the taxes. He wants to Shopify do that for him. Yeah. Rudy gets I just want. I want to find out if that's going to get authenticated. That's the Be- important. Part. Before anybody takes that as like uber negative, my website is also just a Shopify website. So, me and Rudy, same thing, baby. Hey, same hey, thing. that that card's going to Rudy. Don't anger him before it gets graded. Okay. Don't anger him before the grade. Oh, if he doesn't get... How does Rudy's grading company not have a 6.9 as, like, the top grade? That... Like, how is that... You might be a marketing genius. How... That's You might be a marketing genius. Like, I'm so disappointed in Rudy. Grade number two is 420? Yeah. Like, how how is that not... Like, that's his thing. Like, it should just be a meme for him. Grade Uh, number three is 3.3% ladies or something? Speaking of memes, this morning I woke up to a text from Josh asking if he could buy boxes of Star Wars because you are all yeah. in on Star Wars. Josh, tell us why you're no. all in on Star Wars. So I know you're going to do this repeatedly during this segment because you're projecting just, in a very weird way all day long. Me. That's true. It was not in how, my bingo card how, for my morning to get a text from you about boxes of Star Wars. It was just not in my how many bo- How many boxes have you bought of Star Wars for your store? I bought, listen, I bought another 60 boxes today because mm, I sold okay. out. Like Okay, yeah. so that makes what I asked for seem to pale in comparison to offer at one a discount to channel members. One of us runs a local members. store that has people playing, and the other one... One I of us sells boxes paid. at a discount to channel members to support members. his community, buddy. That's awesome. That's Maybe crazy. I care about... Oh, oh, yeah, now it's not That's so funny, is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. No, 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 hold on. I yeah, want it to be known... Wait, you I care? Think you, you think it's funny. hilarious that I give people good deals for supporting I, my channel? Yeah. I That's wild. I still think it's equally as funny that, that that text happened today. You're very kind to the people around you today. I'm kind. I'm being very kind. I love that. I love. I yes, yes. Get him, Josh. I love that when it happens. It's I, just. I just think it's funny. It was a great text. I did not anticipate it. Today. I'm all in, all baby. Right. I'm glad okay. that you are right. on enough the Star you, Wars hype train. You, enough you I too am on the Star Wars hype train. All right. So I'm just curious. Go, all right. So, Louis, why why have you forsaken sorcery for Star Wars? <laughs> I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm not forsaking sorcery for Star Wars. Star Wars I will be. Why will you forsake? Hold on, hold on. I, I'm going to make a bold sorcery, claim because he's Wars. not forsaken sorcery. But this will be the last brand new Star Wars game that I box open for channel members on Until the channel. Marvel. Marvel is not Star. Oh, uh, maybe. What are you? Marvel talking better have about? some. Marvel will have a Star Wars crossover, I bet. You think what so? Are you what Marvel Snap? game are you talking about? Marvel That's Snap? Disney. Disney owns both. What I, if we get there's Magic not the Gathering a Marvel universes? Card game. Yeah. Oh, come on. We get Magic the Gathering universes beyond Marvel, and then we get a Marvel oh. Aftermath set that's all Star Wars. I have not I'm said in. this on the podcast. We will one hundred percent be getting a Star Wars universe beyond set. That is. Of Oh, yeah. So, so Louis, why does Star Wars? Happening. So tell me about tell yeah. me about your Star Wars thousand percent Universal United. What is it? Uh, I I never remember. I, every time I go to look at the prices on TCG Player, I have to like. I love I love I love you. It's like, is it Tendi time yet? Is it Tendi time yet? Is it Tendi time yet? Remember, a good person on this podcast once predicted where the tendies go. So sick of hearing this. Where the tendies go. This is the fifth time you said this to me. Yeah. I like. There's not a whole lot of passion about the Star Wars game. What are you asking me? What about it? Why, like, what, what, what's appealing to you? Why, you don't why care do you think that it's appear, appealing to me? Because you're buying a bunch of boxes and doing videos about it. 
Uh, so why did I do a video about it? Because the demand for my pre-release at my local scene was non-existent because nobody really knew about the game. And when you I told do me it was a great pre-release, that people were packed. I know that's because I did a video on it and I shared it with my Discord server, and a bunch of people watched it and showed up for the pre-release. And so I was being a good store owner by making content about a game that I was doing. God, I love that you're both equally sensitive about your Star Wars love, and, I, and I'm baffled about, by it. I'm sensitive I am about the idea by, that like I am. I it. am always proud of the games I support. Even when I'm just very confused onto Louis pushing this off onto me. His no, making I, me be all about you. Star just, Wars for oh selling six I, all the time when we talk. You I, like your constant attitude to me is that I shouldn't do anything other than magic content because it's going to affect my algorithm. And you being like, I'm going to do a that Star is... Wars box opening video was yeah, not buddy. One of us has card. a YouTube channel that matters, it, and it ain't me. It was okay. not in my bingo card. For the day, it ain't, I just think it ain't it's funny. Okay. I'm all in because I want to talk about Star Wars because I think the game's really fun. So I'm all in on you liking it, but I just think it's funny. I can be. Both I want ways. you to guess how many games of Star Wars I'm going to play. Zero. You're not going to do anything about. It. You're not going to know Nailed when it. you're opening the boxes. I know. Yes. Yeah. So you so want to talk about Star Wars because you think the game is really succeeded. fun? Oh my god! I'm not your guy, Louis. Tell me about your pre-release that succeeded. It was great. We had a great pre-release. There was like nine, ten, ten people there. It was cool. Uh, it, the The diversity of the games, like we had some people who collect Pokemon. They don't play any TCGs, and they showed up. And um, there's a couple like guys who play the the Warhammer games, like the tabletop stuff, and a couple of them showed up. Um, but my, one of my employees that uh, we just started being open on Tuesday nights, so I could hire another employee. And he uh, he was really into it. He's like, "Hey, dude, you got to pick up this game. It's gonna be really fun." here's why and so I, I just said yeah like we'll run it on tuesdays you're going to be there to champion it so like we'll do it on tuesdays we need needed a non-magic game to do that day anyway because that's like our thing we do all the games um is it like an x-wing game or is it like a magic game it's a card game yeah, yeah. so this, this is where things are really different the, there's been a lot of miscommunication about this game on the internet because of uh Le legion star wars legion is that what it was yep you're just saying that uh yeah. but um i think it was legion star wars i played x-wing for a minute x-wing was great what was the card game it's legion it's legion in my mind i'm were you in that one too <laughs> that's why i'm having a hard time with it right now <laughs> um i'm looking it up to make sure i i don't do, do that wrong anyway i regardless the previous games being way um less of a collectible card game whereas this is way more like a typical 16 pack we should like a big difference is the old star wars card game was the six pack, pack 16 packs the no, hold on. the old card game was six pack booster packs so Ooh. like e the pack opening was completely stupid like there was every six pack had a legendary i mean it was like a really bland yeah. there was no special arts there's nothing like exciting about opening whatever um and like this is a full-on like each pack has 16 different because that one i had dice rolling involved in the card game and this is 100 percent just a card game um it follows a lot of the of the um lo5 legend of five rings kind of mechanics pulls from a lot of different old star wars mechanics uh it's very fun it's it i was really good. i wanted to ask you what did you think about like the the card in person the card quality and the art i've only seen wait, pictures wait, online wait did you and hold it so i did not fold it uh do, How I, oh, do, you, do you have one you gotta have one live i live got right one here. in my brand new heavy play deck box oh, everybody look at this heavy play are they deck the sponsor box. of this podcast yet no they're not the sponsor of the podcast yet um all right here we go we'll do a, we'll do a oh. bend test for you uh not with that one that's a legendary <laughs> here you go here's a common the super laser tactician here we go baby we're gonna fold it oh it folds fine it doesn't crack in half like a you gotta like fold a, in half it, it doesn't crack in half like a cryptic card look at that look at that baby it folds and wow, passes that's really the good quality test. yeah um i'm not gonna rip it because i actually need this for my my darth vader deck um so, all right, what are you asking? What's the card quality? It's fine. It's good. Yeah, I, card quality. How do you is how's the art in person? Is it nice? Is it because it looks it looks like jarring at first when you look at it online. Some of the art's good. Some of the art's bad. I would give the art designer like a C. Like the guy okay. who's in charge of like the graphic elements of this game, I give him a C. It doesn't look terrible. It's just like some of the cards are great. Some of the cards are not great. 
uh everybody hates the han solo or is it the han solo art i think it's the han solo art everybody hates it and that's like one of the first cards they spoiled so like a lot oh, of people only saw that yeah. and never looked again because they like made the determination that they didn't like the artwork uh there is a lot of art that i really like uh there's just some you know that i'm not a big fan of i don't like the um they call them uh hyperspace cards which is essentially just borderless and the way like you can open a pack and you're fanning through the pack and like two of your cards will be hyperspace i just don't like it's just a weird experience when you're opening and like it's just different i don't like i don't i don't like it with magic either with the set booster packs where you're like you get a random borderless yeah, card in the middle anymore. huh they don't exist anymore yeah sorry the play boosters like, i'm just not a fan of that and uh I don't like the the foils on the he, on the legendary or on the um the leaders because the back side of it is not foil. So like this is the judge promo and on the back side or the front it's foil on one side but on the back it's not foil. I'm not oh. a big fan of that. Like just make the whole thing foil. Like come on. Oh wait. I What? Isn't that isn't that exactly what sorcerer does? Like one side foil, back side full art not foil? Yeah, but this is not a different. It, this is a different card. Functionally, it's an it's oh, okay. It's a it's it, a dual face card. Got gotcha. you. Follow flips. Yeah, yep. it flips. Okay. Um. So I, I don't understand why it's not foil on both yeah, sides. Yeah, like, that I don't should really that like should that. be foil then. You're uh, right. But the the highest chase rarity is opposite. It is foil on both things. I have not pulled one of those. Those are yeah. Um, yeah. Give it time. Listen. Very tempted to open a bunch of boxes, but I'm not gonna. Um. Those are like in every two cases every 12 boxes you get one of those and those are that's how many cases you got josh that's how many cases you got oh baby you can get one hold on wait are you outing because i haven't told my members how many boxes we got yet you got you got four boxes only josh i hope you (laughs) sell them fast (laughs) no that's Uh, no you missed you, you missed the message there but that's okay so you get uh one of these um showcase leader foils in every uh 12 boxes uh, okay. Those are going for like three hundred ish dollars. The Palpatine I was texting you guys about today uh, ended up selling for two hundred and eighty. Um, that's your story, George. It went from six hundred to four hundred to three hundred to two eighty. <laughs> it's just like, where's the catch the <laughs> falling knife and that. put it in your pocket, save it for a rainy day. Um, I I might buy that and then take that card and put it in my heavy play curved sleeves future sponsor of this podcast for extra protection there you go i don't have any sleeves um so i think these things are wild george i think there's a couple of things that are pretty cool about the game um number one asthma day is backing it and they have come out with they they have the biggest thing with star wars fans is fear of the game just disappearing because they have you know that's what they've done in the past asthma day louie and fancy flight all going in on the same game I can't handle. I'm this. not like. Listen, I cannot boy. handle this. Mm-hmm. These, you... these boxes are going to hit five hundred thousand dollars by the time this podcast airs, and by the time this podcast ends, it'll be five hundred Zimbabwe dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you made that joke on the phone, and I laughed too. <laughs> like this is going to be the most extreme FOMO. But you have Josh in now too. I mean, that's like... the that's the wild card. Yeah, that's the Josh, wild card. Josh is never in on anything, and he's all in on it. He's he's that's using the, his channel. That's um, the wild card. His poor channel members. Uh, I cannot. Like I am very excited to see how. This I like goes. how you could constantly disrespect sorcery and the Shark Tank. <laughs> Listen, I'm a big fan of the Shark Tank. I'm a little disappointed the Shark Tank's not growing as fast as I want it to. But it is growing. There's like eight sharks there. It's barely a tank. Uh, it, that's there's eight sharks there. We should start a GoFundMe to get you a tank to put in the background of your video. And God, actually, remember your little remember your fishes that you had in the back of your videos, yes, dude. Bit fish. Oh my! Wait, hold on. You did this video. Where can I get my cards graded so I can put them in the water and they won't get destroyed? What's uh, the company? You can't, you can't do PCG. God, I, that was the only one that didn't pass the water test. <laughs> I just want, I'm gonna grade all of the sharks and then put them in actual water. Mm. um okay so uh what was i talking about oh the the previous star wars games fantasy flight just like poofed and vanished and was like we can't support it right but these they have committed to nine sets that's already in like in development which is pretty cool um that's also a little bit dangerous yeah i'm just saying 
Uh, and somebody told me, I was listening to an interview about, um, somebody told me that they have the most people ever for any Final Fantasy game on the team developing Star Wars, uh, which I thought Fantasy, was... Fantasy Flight. What did I say? Final you said, Fantasy? You said Final Fantasy. Oh, yeah, I've God. done that a hundred times. Final Fantasy is so good. Uh, oh, my God. Have you guys played Final Fantasy se- the new Final Fantasy VII? No, I heard it sucks. Didn't they leave a bunch too. of stuff out? Wait, wait, wait! No, no, no! The 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 follow the up story. No, I hate the remake. But like the, they okay. have a new, oh. they have a new, they have a they, uh, the continuation of the story out now. I still haven't finished Final Fantasy VI, so I, I got to it. do things that are actually fun, Louis. <laughs> I don't, I don't like Final Fantasy. I do too much playing wait, of what? card games. Wait, wait. <laughs> I don't, I don't like Final Fantasy. That's it, baby. That's the deal breaker. What? <laughs> I, How's that possible? I, I don't played? like Final Fantasy. Okay. What ones have you played? I have no idea. I played a couple with friends a million years ago, and I, mean, I just wasn't the, a fan. I played play seven. Okay. Seven is so good. Don't play the remake. <laughs> you want old school graphics? Eight I bits don't. or no bits? May I, I, May the Star Wars be with you, everybody. That's the end of our Star Wars segment. Um, all right. Let's move on to... No, it's not. It is. It's one, we've been recording for an hour and 40 minutes. We have two so more tough. topics. One last thing, Josh, where can they get good discounts on box openings? I just, they already know on my channel or gamergrove.gg. No, Why? Because no, I'm a good fine. friend. One of I've both had, places are going to have good deals, dude. Yeah. Blue Wizards and my Discord server have had uh, opportunity to get stuff discounted for a long time. You're a wizard, Louie. Yeah. I don't like the wizard thing. Okay. I, the what did you want? Was, like, what was this? You don't like? You it had now? to come up with something. You, you had to come up with something. You I, it was a. It's a magic channel. Magicians oh. are wizards. Yeah. Okay. Blue is it a magic gold. channel? Channel. It's a something it? channel. Some days oh, I think it's just, channel. I wish it was just like a Louis channel. Some days I'm like, I don't want to talk about TCGs right now. Can we like play a video game or? You know, there's sometimes I load up a video game that I want to play, and I'm like, I just want to stream this. Yeah. But I can't. All the time. I like. Yeah. I dream about going back in the pandemic and streaming Fortnite instead of this. <laughs> like, can you imagine? Can you imagine how much more fun it? I'd be. Broke. I would play with you. On, I would play with you. I no problem. Things I don't. I do. got mad when they took building out of Fortnite, even though I was no good at it. Because wait, it did they take building out of Fortnite? No, no. And they, then they put it back in. They added a. Yeah. They actually took it out full. I thought no, they, they, just they added completely a removed it for a while, and they've added. They also added a mode. There was an intermediate. They added a mode where no building, and then they removed it. And then they added it back. Do you remember that one time when we played Halo 5 together, you and I? Turn to me? Yeah. Yeah, it was so much fun. That's the last time I played a video game. And that was the first time I played a video game since starting my YouTube channel. <laughs> and I used to play like six hours of video games a night. Halo that is was so fun. good. Yeah. Halo 5 was fun. I bought that just to play with friends. That was fun. Yeah. Halo is so good. Yeah. Halo. It's I, all about I'm the gathering. I'm not a big fan of Halo, Halo after 4 and 5, but. Uh, no, it, it, the one, two, yeah. three. Yeah. You know what's really good is the Call of Duty series when you don't play the open world giant battleground. When it's just like run, 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 kill a bunch of people, die, run, 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 kill a bunch of people, die. That's we, fun. We bought a ton of PlayStation Two games like three days ago on Monday, and uh, and one of them was Medal of Honor European something. I don't know. And uh, I put it in the the PlayStation just to test it. And I ended up playing it for like fifteen minutes. I was like, this is the best playstation was the greatest um okay yeah anyway star wars is gonna be interesting i think this one's gonna pop up in the conversation quite a bit though on the podcast because there's a lot of excitement there's a lot of excitement happening at what gives you that idea george do people pump it i'm like i'm not i wanted to say this because i knew you were gonna say this. your definition of not pumping something is wild what no you don't know what pumping looks like you don't remember burying me with my <laughs> god i forgot about that like, this is your last chance to ever buy this card you, you know i'm uh, you know i'm pumping when i'm buying the the rumor myself that that's when i'm pumping i think i think the star wars game is incredibly high risk from a collector standpoint i think bob they... got it don't worry bob's got your back now they are now they are really leaning into draft and like sealed play which means there's going to be a lot of boxes Um, don't buy modern cards for collectability in my view Eh. anyway can um, i can i nickname your 
alpha sorcery set, the rumor. Because your quote right now was when you know I'm pumping it when I'm buying into the rumor. Can I nickname your alpha foil sorcery <laughs> set the rumor? The rumor. I didn't buy into that. Like you guys don't understand the entire alpha foil thing. I made money getting my alpha set. Like I opened okay. boxes. It was a I, I, the YouTube channel. The Didn't you just thing. say you spent two thousand dollars to complete your alpha sorcery yeah, set? But like I sold. That sounds like buying it. in. Nah. I, I I look at my alpha foil set as a cost basis of zero dollars. That's and like, that's it's actually probably a cost basis of negative dollars. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like I sold tons of like I sold singles. I did whatever. Like the time and effort was the investment. Yeah, and you still bought into it. <laughs> no. Bought, listen, the stuff. reward I got out of it was way way greater. Like the the fun. It's not a, you know it's buying into it. If you only if I, you lose, you buy into it. Even if you win, you still buy no, into like it. No, like I don't see any. I see my so my my foil alpha set as like a complete fun thing that I have that has zero like financial value like i, I like, don't I, I like that you are one of the people that has an alpha source set i gotta say that makes me happy like i know it's worth maybe i, I don't know what it's worth i don't i don't care like it, it doesn't care. matter to me star wars though i think that the, in order for this game to be successful they have to print a lot of boxes and it has to be picked up by a lot of stores so i would venture to say if you are a consumer and you like star wars and you like trading card games there's no reason not to buy into this in terms of like building a deck and having fun with it and playing it i think there's going to be a lot of like they're going to have to grow pretty wide for this to be I, I don't think you're going to see these like leader cards become stupid, expensive $5,000 cards. Like I, yeah. I think there's going to be, there's going to be significant growth pains for a game like this. Um, and, and they do have a lot to work through with the community's response from previous star Wars games. So uh, I am really they have asthma day and final fantasy. They'll be fine. <laughs> fantasy flight. <laughs> no, that was the joke that was over your head. They have, yeah. They have Asmodee, Final Fantasy, and Louie. I can't think okay. of three more trusted people in the NDTCG space, in my view. It's not an NDTCG either. So, Louie, listen, if we're going down, I'm going down with you. Hey, listen. I'm not. I am not. You're all out, George. All out. Mm. I it's, support it because it supports my Divi. I you, appreciate you guys buying the, the boxes. The problem with you is you're just all out on our, all card games. Like not, even yeah, when we, not, even when we talk accurate. about Lorcana and One Piece, it's accurate. just a meme. Like you barely think accurate. about it. You don't I'm actually all in care about it. On two card games, all you're in not. on two card games. You're not. You're all you're in not. on Pokemon only because of your stupid Charizards that you can't move. No, no, no. no I'm all in on Pokemon. Oh, no, he's all in on CGC. Hey. I'm in on One Piece. You're Go not. Kana. You're no. not. Not all in on. I'm only in on Gokana. You're not though. You're really not. I believe in Gokana. I don't I know. He's got a lot. He's got I a lot. I absolutely believe in Goat Kana. All right. Yeah. Tell us about your one piece. I should have remembered what this card was won at. So this guy won a tournament, and it was a big tournament. I think it was the world championship. I'm like, It was the biggest tournament. It yeah, was so big. Like, Let me tell you about how big this tournament was. I'm like 83% sure it was like the world championship. And um, the guy wins it. And like I'll give like you want to talk about some stones and believing in the in the in the game, this guy right after he wins it gets offered one hundred fifty thousand dollars in cash. And he says no. He says it's worth more. <laughs> Do you know how fast my fat ass would have taken one hundred fifty grand? I, I would have grabbed it, <sighs> threw the card at its feet, and ran as fast as my little fat legs can go. And I've seen I've seen you run. It wouldn't have been impressive, but you would have got there. I would have got there. You got to tackle me. Um, the rumor has been like this is somewat confirmed is that it sold for one hundred ninety four thousand. I'm guessing that's a weird euro conversion, but who knows? Because euros is fake money. And <laughs> so, um, so some America. card, some card from some game sold for some monopoly money, and it made its way onto the podcast. <laughs> Yeah. Bingo. Listen, we're an hour and forty minutes in, buddy. <laughs> Shout out to Europe. Why can't you just use a freedom dollar? Damn right. Um, gold standard. And so they, um, like, was so like the two things that happened after this are more interesting than that. Even somebody posted a open offer of two hundred thousand in Facebook. That guy can make six grand. So 
I will put I will say this. The guy was very clear that's only an opening offer and he has room to move. Mm. There's been rumors that like like the, 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 there's been offers of three hundred thousand dollars. So this is like What's at that, that level, negotiation hold on, text. Hold on. Text. At that level, yeah, we're just talking about like art money laundering. Art money laundering, right? Like is yeah. that I, what this is? It's I, just so, drugs. Louis, the, the, you're right. It's just very drugs. clear here. I wish I believed that. I think that would make way more sense of what I actually think is happening. Which is what? They I think they believe in it. So is it that they believe in it or is that they just they want it? Cuz those are two different things. No, I right? think they like I th- I think it's I think it's some combination. Cuz like there's a guy out there who who goes to dinner and can drop 300 grand and be like, "Oh, oh well, I make that in like 30 minutes," right? Like there's a guy out there that does that. So sure. for whatever reason he likes one piece instead of you know, I, I, so I, I think there's yeah. certainly some element of that, but I, I mean, listen, like, I think they also believe in the game. Like, it's, it's a known whale who made the offer of 200 opening. Hmm. Um, this known whale is a terrible negotiator. Hey, I, I'm offering I you $200,000, like, I mean, like but I will go up. I will he wants go. it badly. Like he want, like he didn't know who found it. Like they want, like he so, wanted to make it clear. Like he will, so, yeah, right. he will do it, what it takes to get the card. Yeah. I mean, like someone who wasn't hugged enough as a kid and so now he just has to have the Louis he's not on the podcast can we please be nice to people who aren't on the podcast Louis that's offensive well, listen, I'm just I don't know if you've got three hundred thousand dollars to spend on a trading card I don't think you care what we say about you on the no, podcast you know, I, you know, I thought that too until I got yelled at for saying that about somebody right, else. Right. and so um wasn't that like 10 grand it was 13 grand Oh, there is a oh, come, there the, is an ocean of difference. There is not. It's the same. There is same, <laughs> same, same, same Ponzi scheme. Um, so like yeah. bigger like, scale, bigger scale. Yeah, there's More always drugs involved in all. Of I will like the amount of money in one piece. Totally blows my mind. Well, that's like there are several you know, cards that go for five figures. Yeah, you you it's know crazy. that in the the card market in. All the other countries other than the United States is really big and growing, right? That, that's why. It's only going to get bigger. I would believe that if like, – like this has always been my problem because like the, the One Piece community, shout out to the GOATs, uh, they all tell me that like One Piece is huge in Japan. And they, and they actually mean it not as our meme. Um, I'm always like, I like Japanese One Piece boxes are free. Yeah, but is it, could that just be supply? That's their argument. Like I don't, I don't believe them. Like, I don't know how. I don't know how to say I don't believe them in a nice way. I'm sorry, Louie. I know you're gonna get. A, I know you're gonna get an angry DM from some stranger danger about me saying that. But like, I don't believe them. Mm-hmm. Like I don't think that. Like I think they, that they, they were they, basically they have unlimited. Like... They have unlimited supply in Japan, and they can produce four boxes in the land of freedom. <laughs> yeah. Listen. Uh, the One Piece world is wild in the English market. There's these boxes of this set that comes out. I think pre-releases this weekend. It's gonna be seven hundred bucks a bet. It's gonna be a five hundred dollar box yeah. on release I mean, like, week. I mean, it's nuts. It's the amount, crazy. The amount of demand and money in One Piece is. I mean, they it's, reduce it's back to the supply. Pandemic. It's back yeah. to the pandemic, and it's absorbing like it's absorbing everything. Pokemon, Magic, like Okana. It's crazy. I mean, Lorcana's. Um, uh, kind of there too, but um, they kind of didn't have the existence before One Piece, so it's like not a thing that you can really say. Um, so here's my like, so I, somebody called me about this, and I'll say this it was somebody who was thinking about making a serious offer on the card. Um, it was somebody I used to do a lot of business with, um, and when I was in a different card game, and um, not Meta Zoo, and um. <laughs> You want to hold up a box? Is that going to make this easier for you so you can don't get the story? Don't this box. It was also not Genesis. And um, I was going to, too. The guy the guy wanted to know, like, what do I think about a th- you know offering six figures for the card uh, somewhere between 250 and 350 I was like, first, like, I don't know why you're calling me. Second of all, how did you get my number? Third of all, uh, stop, you're blocked. To, the, to that guy, stop listening to this podcast and yeah. thinking that George actually knows what he's talking about. Move I don't think this is the podcast. You got too much brains for that. Fourth, fourth of all, it's like, do not buy this card. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. like a, a good quality Alpha Lotus is a million dollars. That's not true. But what do you, what do you, how much do you think it is? There's an Alpha Lotus at, at, for tell, six, tell me you didn't grand. hear the important part without good quality i mean it wasn't part. it wasn't cut in half i mean like i'm talking a high tier yeah like a high grade lotus. alpha okay. lotus 
probably about a million dollars today. Sure. My guess. Okay. Maybe yeah. seven fifty to eight hundred. There's a difference like, between good quality and a PSA ten. There's, there's a I'm difference not saying between PSA those, ten, and you would PSA not PSA nine five one point two six eighty eight. So, yeah. three quarters hmm. of a million. Hmm. A hmm. PSA nine five. Is that what you just said? Yeah. Yes, he's guessing, right? Sorry, oh, sorry, Beckett. Yeah, I heard I PSA nine five. I did. I, I did. I did. I said it wrong. I said it wrong. Um, That's my fault. No, that, so, I said there's so, a difference. So, okay, so, never mind. so, I was like, you can't tell me a reasonable story where this is worth as much as a high end Lotus. Sure. In any reasonable time frame, and let's say I'm wrong. Let's say this is, becomes worth as much as a high end Lotus. You've tripled your money. Yeah. The risk reward for that way off base. <laughs> this is far more likely to be a twenty thousand dollar card right. than a million dollar card in my view. Yeah, but you get yeah. you don't get the allure of having the only version of a card, which is what people who spend three hundred grand care about. They want to be the person they want to be the Logan Paul that wears it on their neck at you know, whatever. Like that's their point. But like, like- this you is, and I, like, the three of us aren't in that circle, and that's why we don't spend money like that. We, but like, we don't. The point that's also not entirely true. Like, sports cards has this constant problem where, like, how do you value a one on one? There's no comp. Like, we have this problem with the one ring. Yeah. And then Posty showed up and he was just right. like, I mean, I'll Posty just make a new album, man. If Posty doesn't them, show up, I mean, the card goes for a lot less. I mean, like, one of ones are. People all want them, but they're very hard to value. There's no yeah. easy comps. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, I like, listen, I, I hope this guy's happy with his purchase. I hope he makes a killing. Uh, I'm like, Louie, I'm rooting for your success. No, uh, but I, I'm like, saying oh, his yep, success yep, is yep, owning like, the card. Yep, That's the yep, success he cares about. Yep, but like, he doesn't I, care about the success you care about, which is the free tendies and money farming. Damn right. Yeah. And uh, but like I wear I wear it as a badge of honor. I don't hide my shame, Louie. I wear sure. it as a badge of honor. Sure. Um, right on my Hawaiian shirt. Um, I just think this is poke yourself with it while you're putting it on. But I think I think this is like banana pants crazy. The problem is like next world championship, there's just another one. Right. So like now you gotta go buy that one because you want the flash. This might have been the first one. Right, but they're obviously going to, what, yeah. only one-on-one they're ever going to do? Probably not. Like, No, no, no. They'll definitely do more one-on-ones, I think. But, like, there's something about the first one. Oh, well, I don't know what this card looked like, but I assume there's more clothing you can remove from the girl. And so, like, it can just, like, for the people who want this, like, that's what they do. I think you nailed the One Piece take. <laughs> like, that's why I want, I, I, There you go. Uh, well, we talked about it. George, you, and, piece you and I talked about it. Unbelievable. We talked about the comp to the Alpha Lotus, and it's like, you know, if if everything goes great, when you think about the history of that card, most iconic card, game that lasts 30 years, builds a player base of, you know, multiple millions of people, constant, just decades of success, like, still around. Everything goes right. Like, how often is everything going to go that well for exactly any Exactly one time. It's happened exactly mm-hmm. one right. time. Like, it's such a it's risky 30 years. It's such a risky bet. Yeah, only because Pokemon hasn't been around for 30 years yet. And Yu Gi Oh! hasn't Has been, around been around for, for 25. Years. Yeah. Like, uh, that's the point. You can say that it only because it's the only because it's a first card game, but Pokemon's doing the it same not thing. The first card game. Magic was. That's what I just yeah. said. Those games were magic. First card successful magic. card game. Damn right. I, I would so- think. Cons- I think you were saying Magic being the first card game is fair. That's I'm sure there were TCGs beforehand, but Magic's really the right. But like one. Pokemon the has, it, Pokemon is its own ecosystem that's no longer reliant on Magic the Gathering and in, in that world. Like it's been around for Wait. 25 years. You, well, I, I, I didn't say this is going to be reliant on the Alpha Lotus. I just I just said in, if you're going to do that comparison, everything has to go right. <laughs> I think the bigger comparison is like how, like an Alpha Lotus wasn't worth one million dollars on year one. It was worth fifty bucks. Nothing, and yeah. it, and it went yeah. up in value worthless. of the game. And the price is already priced into a card like this. the The hype is priced in now because we have seen a successful card game now. And so, yeah. like, I don't, I don't think that the person buying this for two hundred grand thinks that it's going to be worth. 300 grand next year i think they just want to be the person that owns it that's that's my guess i think that's part of it i do think it's gonna be up in value like if you're just buying this if you're if you're just buying it because you want to own it 
just buy it's, Bitcoin instead. Am I right? Like, it's what? probably a better way to go about it than being like, I'll pay anything. Like, <laughs> uh, I do wonder how much of that kind of stuff exists too. Where with crypto pumping, there's a there's a lot of crypto one piece like crossover. Think so? Mm-hmm. We discussed this last week. I'm not going into this again. Okay. You're you 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 hunting for excuses by Pokemon won't pump and everything else does. I'm not I'm not feeding. <laughs> I'm not hunting frenzy. for that. I'm not. That's not, not, that's not at all frenzy. what I am going to. I'm not going I've accepted frenzy. the fact that pumping Pokemon's not going to pump, and it's just something that sells well. In I don't. Store. I don't know, man. Oh, we George man. compared this to the Lotus. I offered an explanation of that comparison, and you shot back from the hip about Pokemon <laughs> before I finished my. I sentence. was responding to George saying that Magic was the only game that's been around for thirty years. To the fact that the only game that's been around for 30 years because it was the first game and it hasn't been 30, to, 30 years since Pokemon's existed. That was our responding. I wasn't it's even been responding like 25 to 25 or 26. Right. So his point of 30 years left out Pokemon because, because these, Pokemon comes, hasn't been around for 30 years. I am going to die. I saw, I saw right. that C's coming. I spent 12. It's, I, I, took, I took that 12 hour Sudafed. The problem is like those last three hours. You know, George turned me into my go-to medicine isn't real medicine yeah they found he broke my, like the like the, broke oh, like, my the brain. Oh, like the fake Sudafed doesn't work very well yeah I, I always do NyQuil and DayQuil and he's like no you gotta go for whatever's behind the counter the real stuff. drop NyQuil DayQuil get whatever's behind the counter I mean, NyQuil's really let you sleep behind the counter yeah. yeah what do you mean like you have to get prescription no 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 but you have to, you have this to give probably isn't a thing in West Virginia because I think is. meth is a part of the economy that might just break the law yeah, well, I think it's just part of the economy. That's how they get tax money is, um, you know, yeah, man. the meth dealers. Um, so the other day, I saw our kids sick, and so my wife wanted to get um, – Did you like, get – did you're going to get me sick? Like she got children's uh, – I don't know, something like that. Is Motrin it or Tylenol or something? No, not, not – like, it was like a, like a Sudafed. Oh, okay. Children's Sudafed. And uh, she had to come back to the car because she didn't have her ID, and she needed yeah, her that's ID it. to get – yeah, so that's that's stuff. that's the stuff. Nailed that's it. the good stuff. Well, it's Nailed not behind it. the counter. It was like it's readily you can grab it off the shelf. You, oh, you ours is oh, it, everybody else it, in yeah. every other state in the union. It's over. It's, on, it's over. Yeah, there. ours is ours is like you have to go up to the little pharmacy desk and like ask for it. In twenty years, well, in eighteen years, we'll get COVID here, and then in twenty years, we'll have to put stuff behind the the counter. We're always twenty years behind the rest of the country, so that follows. Yeah, if we, we get COVID, COVID again, maybe behind. Can you imagine how many subscribers your channel is going to have with Guess the Card, Win the Card if you get COVID again? I'm in. Who am I going to Guess the Card, be... Win the Card with, though? Yourself. Like, that's oh, the problem. I, I, that, I, that you're West is... Virginia. I'm assuming Game Grove is still oh, open. Yeah, yeah. I, that, yeah. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's break the law. I'm all in. I'm all in, baby. <laughs> Are we doing COVID again? Is that is George going to start that? COVID Guess the Card, Catch I, the I COVID. Guess negative. Yeah. Dang. Do I have to cut that? I'm not gonna cut that. No, you could not cut that. <laughs> Why would you? That is. We're, if we're over the COVID, COVID. If, uh... if anybody thinks I'm sensitive anymore, <laughs> like you guys need to, you guys right. should really watch more pod. Oh my God! Before we get to Goat Kana, we're two I, hours in. We're I'm not getting to Goat Kana. We're nobody skipping cares. Goat Kana. We're definitely not skipping Goat Kana. Love it. Um, nobody cares. About definitely not skipping Goat Kana. We talk about your dead ass magic game. We can talk about the game that actually matters. Um, so um, I made a terrible mistake of reading the comment section last week for the first time. Um, Wait, what? You didn't tell us. You didn't tell either of us this. Did you tell Louis this? I, yeah, you didn't tell I don't me know this. About this. So I have a question. And I'm not going to read the comments, but Louis will. Uh, you will. You there are do. a stunning amount of people, a, a shocking amount of people who posted, I hate you guys. Your podcast sucks. Why are what you watching you, this? What podcast are you? Wait, wait. Are you talking about that watch reading? podcast? Yeah. They were like, of course, he says this. He's a man child or something like that. Oh, yeah. They, they like to call us names. But, like, that's, that's why are not you watching the podcast? Well, no, Go don't, watch something you know. Like. You're reading those wrong. You're too sensitive, oh. boo boo. Oh, you, you think it's a joke? It's it's a, a term of endearment. People you think, like, they, oh, you think yeah. they intend that as a term of endearment? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they know that we can handle it because we're not wussies and we don't care what people think about us. So we can handle the back and forth bantering with the comment section. Do you think that's really true? No, not at all. But oh, okay. I think that they have nothing better to do but be negative on a YouTube video. I, I, and it's funny because, like, I thought about this and I was like, 
<laughs> I've never watched a YouTube video that I didn't think I would enjoy. Oh yeah, the people who come here just to hate on us, my favorite, because all they do is help the algorithm too. Well, like, like help the algorithm. Like I don't even care about that. Like, like why don't you go watch something you like? Because they like us, they just don't understand it. Yeah, they don't want to admit it. Yeah, that, like that's like listen, man. Part of admitting that you like us <laughs> is, is admitting the same failures that we've worked through. Yeah, I found that wild. Yeah, people who criticize content creators need to start YouTube channels. I I told you this, Louis. I've never gone to a YouTube video and left a. If I didn't like a YouTube video, I've never left a comment about it. I've started plenty of comments now, and been like, "Oh, this isn't." <laughs> I have better. I have better. I've things never to do. even done. I've never even done that. So I just I, click away. I only watch like five creators because like I, I found my five and like. Thanks, George. And I, I'll be honest. Like this is why like, the, the person leaving is gonna break me. We're like, I'm, I need to add something to my rotation. <laughs> I want to encourage Finally in the door. I would like to right now though, I want to encourage if you need to get some things off your chest and you need us to be your punching bag, I will take that. I will be your punching bag for the algorithm's sake. I think you're kind of ugly. I love it. (laughs) I am more than kind of ugly. I've accepted that. I'm ten years married. I don't need to be good looking. It doesn't matter to me. Yeah. I've never I've never been good looking, so this is great. Yeah. This works out. Yeah. Okay, so speaking of things that are beautiful, Goat Kana. Lord Kana. Um, Goat Kana's doing great again. It is. Like, it I is. would like, I, I know, like last time, Louis, you added in a little. I know you guys won't agree with this, but congratulations on all the tournaments across the country for sorcery. So I know you guys won't all agree with this. Um, I would like to congratulate Lord Kana for clearly Dude. selling more dollars our, on TCG players. Our Lord Kana scene is pumping. Of course. We're doing, we're doing Wait, what's, Saturday. What's, what's, the- what's Lord Kana? Goat. Oh, oh, goat Kana, goat Kana. I'm sorry. Goat Kana. We're doing. Uh, why am I not being criticized for pumping Lord Kana right now? I would. I want to highlight you that. You flooded it for a year. Yeah, but now I'm pumping it, and nobody's yelling at me for pumping it. Because like, you because it you yelled at us year. for. I mean, you yelled at us for. I just brought that you up pumped. the concerns I had about the game. That is what I nope. do on the podcast. I bring up my thoughts. This That's is a I theme do. today, not what I said. You yelled at us for calling you out for pumping things earlier, so we're not calling you out for that anymore. So That's, That's why like you nope. do though. That's not usually you lean in. You never. Bet. No, you're you sensitive. Never... I I respect that. Not sensitive. Um, <laughs> I am not sensitive, Josh. Man, got, got him. him. <laughs> got him. <laughs> man. Wait, hold on. Now wait, I want to go read the on, comment yeah, section. Yeah, wait, there was a man child comment. Man child. Definitely a man child. A hundred percent. It was either you or me. Or Josh, one of the three. Yeah, nailed it. <laughs> we can all got we all got fit there. Them in. <laughs> we are a podcast for trading card games. We are man children, and everybody who listens to the podcast also hey, probably a be man nice child. to the man viewers. Don't criticize how they spend their money. What, you, what is the, I'm very curious what our ratio of male to female is on the podcast. <laughs> Mine went up when I switched to magic. <laughs> went up. That makes no sense. To, to my female viewership went up. God, like, I am dying. I am sweating. Like my, I am like my YouTube's not working. I am falling apart. Oh, I just um, went to the so, comment section and all I see is Josh has the correct take on raisin Kane's chicken. Let's go. Suck it, George. <laughs> it's the only one that matters. <laughs> it's the only comment uh, I saw right so, now. Louis, man. Tell me about your goat con scene that you were halfway through oh, before. Listen, you got our distracted. scene, our scene pumping. We got people uh playing on Saturdays, right? Like yep. You know, we're firing every week, eight to 12 people playing the game. And then all of a sudden, they're like, hey, can we draft on Thursday nights too? Like, it's crazy. Like, people just want to keep playing. Seven days a week, baby. I'll tell you what. The um, the the cadence of release cycle is really good. Yes. Like, they, they really – it's a it's an almost – it's an almost perfect cadence. Because people got bored. Of, people got bored of Floodborne for sure, and then Inklands came out. And, like – it the cadence of releases is, is perfect. They they really nailed that. I would say they've done everything almost perfectly. I would not say that, but they've I, I done would also not say that some things perfectly. I would do that. I would say that. Uh, for those of you who care, two point seven percent female man. Shout out to them. Rudy's got Ooh. what's Rudy's thing? How do you know that? Is there like a thing that like tells you this? Yeah, Rudy there's made, analytics. Rudy made shirts highlighting that three and a half percent. Really? Emails like him. That's why. <clears throat> but um so Inklands, I'm pulling it up right now. Twelve percent of people listen to watch it with subtitles. 
That makes sense. I, I watched that title. Seventy three percent are not subscribed. That's embarrassing. What should they do to fix that, Louis? Wait, what, just, Louis, what were you at? Seventy three percent. I used to be at fifty percent. I haven't looked at, at this in at least two years. I'm at eighty five percent not subscribed and three point four percent female audience. So the females like you more than they like me. I don't blame them. That follows. You You're way taller, dude. Chicks, chicks dig tall guys. No. Yeah, I I think it's because I I'm trick like, them in with my thumbnail and then they get out because they're like, no, don't subscribe. I'm out. I'm, I'm short. I'm shorter and much more pudgy than you. And yeah, that is not true. You are not more. You were I, doing I, great. Your, I graduated. Your from, that was that was a setup. That was a setup. I graduated from being obese this week. I was pretty proud of myself. I had a doctor's appointment and the doctor literally un, he like took the little check mark off somehow of the obese thing. He's like, congrats, you're no longer obese. I was was like, it by BMI or whatever? I don't know. I, I didn't ask. I, I got <laughs> in. Just there going just gonna take the win, baby. So the last time I was at the doctor was three years ago. Okay, I haven't been to the doctor. That's fine. Three years. Yeah. That's when I walked into a doctor. When I walked into yeah. the doctor's office and I got you going, he goes, So you're you're a little pudgy. I was like, Oh, am I? He goes, Yeah, you probably need to lay out. He's like, Do you eat a lot of sugar and, and carbs? And I was like, I mean, that's at least 90% of my diet. That's how um, I got pudgy. Thanks. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I walk in, he's like, So how have you been over the last three years? It's been a while since I saw you. I was like, Well, Doc, last time you said I was fat. So I didn't really want to come back. That wasn't like real encouraging. So I started working out and doing CrossFit. He goes, well, don't do CrossFit. You'll hurt yourself. And I was like, that's what I said. I was like, no, I said, what do you, I literally said to him at the doctor's office. I was like, what do you want from me, man? I was like, first you tell me I'm too fat. Now you tell me not to work out. I love how you're like, the only way I can not get fat is to do CrossFit. Nothing else will happen. Nothing else. No, this is this soft new persona. That's good. You're right to do CrossFit. Thank you. Keep, you're rocking that keep doing it it's good it's fun i do crossfit with like two old guys and two girls so like yeah you don't have to be one of those people head, that's but, like taking yeah. 200 pounds and yanking it above your head with bad really? form you can do yeah. crossfit right um anyway so i graduated from that so that was a setup i just want to feel good about myself i'm no longer no, i'm proud of you dude i'm now just fat I'm proud of you. I can never, I don't think, not be obese if you use the BMI scale. So BMI I'm screwed. Scale's it's definitely not the BMI scale. It's I'm definitely screwed. His like judging of my character or my weight. <laughs> he just, he just like, yeah. What he just makes you, he just makes you strip oh my God, down and takes pictures. Oh my God, you. is your therapist? So it was Carol. No, no, it's Carol no. being like you're not fat or me, Louis. Carol would never call me fat. She's way too nice, uh, but. You were not fat when I saw Doctor, you. Uh, can I say his name? Sure. No. Dr. Trump. No. Definitely. No, why not? Wait, what? Okay. What's his yeah. name? <laughs> I think it's, do- I don't know. I think it's Dr. Trump. I'll go to him again in three years. But I think Dr. you're Trump. Maybe. Maybe not. I, I think you're being bamboozled. I definitely <laughs> being bamboozled. I don't think this I, man has a medical license. All right, everyone. <laughs> this is going opposite of somewhere. <laughs> Uh, so thank you for watching, for listening, for subscribing to the oh, only 30% of you who subscribe, you jerks. Um, 85% of my viewers aren't subscribed. I yeah, just dude. learned that now. We what suck. the hell? We suck at What this. the hell? We? Guys. Not good at YouTube. These three people. Well, George, 100% of people are subscribed to George. Um, yeah. And thank you for watching and listening. Subscribe to our channels. Go support Josh at Hometown TCG. Be a channel you can member. Buy your, you can buy your Star Wars there. Hop into the Kitchen Table TCG Discord server and chat with us. If you're a blue wizard, you get access to the the, the May the Zoo Be With You chat. If you're a gold wizard, you get access to um, ordering Wait. things. That, what? You, there, you have to have the top tier to get access to, uh, to the nope. May the Zoo Be With You one? Blue bottom wizard tier. is the bottom tier. $5 oh. a month, you get access to the our May the Zoo Be With You chat. Um, He's monetizing and, us, George. Oh, yeah. Just wait. I've got a whole monetization strategy <laughs> planned for this podcast. It's going to be great. How, how many pairs of heavy play sleeves am I going to get out of it? The inners are a little weird, heavy play, I got to admit. All right, everyone. Be kind to the people around you. May the, uh, may the, what are we pumping? Star Wars. Be, may the Star Wars be with you. And I hate that because it's our podcast name is already Star Wars. Maybe, maybe we should just be, may the force be with Yoda. you. May God. the force be with you. A Star oh, Wars podcast. Oh, I won't be here next week. So next, here next week. So nobody watch next week. Um, on, <laughs> on, on March 14th, don't forget that Tay Tay's concert is on Disney Plus. Support both of the goats. Are you changing the name of the podcast, Louis? 
No, never. Do I just it. Like, I like do saying, it. I like saying that we're going to change the name of the podcast because then everyone's like, "No, don't do that!" And it's fun to watch the comments. Yeah, that's it's a little bait. It's a little bait. Little engagement bait. Yeah, you know, that's why you got that extra fifteen percent. Yeah, that's what I do. I toss that little engagement bait out there. Podcast name. Leave a comment in the comment section if you have a better name for this podcast. Three bozos and the podcast now. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>